Yankee Doodle went to town, riding on a pony. Stuck a fire in his hat and called it macaroni. And called it macaroni. And called it macaroni. And called it macaroni. Daddy, what did he call it? Macaroni. Macaroni! Macaroni, 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 macaroni! Daddy, sing another song. Jesus Christ, please sing a different song. Remix? Don't stop that. Ooh, ooh, hey, don't stop that. Ooh, ooh, don't stop that. Ooh, ooh, hey, don't stop that. Ooh, ooh, Daddy, what are we not stopping? That, uh, uh, uh. Hey, don't stop that. Ooh, ooh, hey. Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, shut up. Stop it. No more singing. No more singing. Please, just no more singing. Don't stop that! Jimmy, there's somebody at the door. Shut up. Uh, hello? Oh, hey, Mario. Oh, hey, Goodman. Uh, what are you doing here? I came here to get your house payment. Uh, listen, look, I don't have my house payment this month. Oh, I know, but that's okay, because you don't have to pay it this month if you do one thing for me. Okay, what's that one thing I have to do? I need you to babysit my son. W you have a son? Yeah, his name's Richard. He's right here. I don't think he's my son, because he looks nothing like me. I'm just waiting for the DNA test to come back. Yeah, look, looks nothing like you. Anyway, Mario, I need you to babysit him for a few days because I paid NASA one billion dollars to fly me up so I could take a piss on the moon. What, you're gonna take a piss on the moon? Oh yeah, Mario, I haven't pissed in a week. It's gonna be a glorious piss. It's gonna be one small step for man, one giant piss for me. NASA even made me my own spacesuit. It exposes my wiener. Uh, 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 okay, so, um... Uh, why can't you get a nanny to watch him? I had to fire all my nannies, Mario. I couldn't stop getting them pregnant! Okay, well, I, I guess I'll watch him then, as long as I don't have to pay my house payment. Yep, and he doesn't need much. He has AirPods. That's all he should need. Uh, Alright, come inside, Richard. Thanks, Mario. Alright, Jeffy, so this is Richard. We're gonna be babysitting him for a few days while his dad uses the bathroom on the moon. Okay, first off, it smells like poor in here. Okay, look, we're not poor, we just don't have as much nice stuff as your dad does. What's your air freshener called? Poor? Okay, look, no more words from you. Look, you're gonna respect me in my own house. And why are you wearing overalls? Are you a hillbilly? Oh, that's why it smells like a farm in here. But listen, you're not gonna say bad things about me, and you're not gonna be rude to me in my own house. You're gonna respect me, because I'm an adult, and I'm the owner of this house, and you're gonna listen to what I say. I got an even better idea. That's $10,000. Why don't you shut the fuck up and give me your hat and your overalls? Now what do you have to say? I'm the hillbilly now. Well, look, just uh, make sure you go to school tomorrow and uh, don't break anything. I'll break whatever I want. Yes, sir. All right, Jeffy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Crass. Today, we're going to be learning about money. Money is the key to all happiness. It can get you out of jail, buy you better food, better cars, better pussy. See this right here, Crash? This is a five dollar bill. This will get you happy ending at my wife's massage parlor. So make sure you go home and tell your daddy. Oh, and by the way, on the weekends, 25% off. Tell your dad. Ooh, ooh, I'll tell my dad. I think he really needs a massage. He's been stressed out lately. Oh, dude, I want a massage too. Oh, guys, I'll give you both a happy ending for free. Oh, it smells like poor in here. And who are you supposed to be? Uh, my name is Richard Goodman, but people call me Rich because I am. And I have to go to this shitty ass public school for a few days while my dad does whatever the hell he's doing. So don't mess with me or else I'll have my dad sue your ass. All right, just find the desk and sit down. We're trying to get back to learning. I want this desk. Give me your desk! No, dude, this is my desk. Find your own desk. I said give me your desk! Look, just because you're rich doesn't mean I have to do what you say. God. Get the fuck up. Oh, oh, oh yes, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> if you ever talk back to me again, I will backhand your ass. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. Now kiss my shoe. Oh, yes, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> Johnson, stop kissing his shoe. Both of you sit down. <laughs> but, teacher, he wanted me to. Go home. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, class, like I was saying, this weekend, $5 handies, 25% off. Make sure you tell your daddy. Okay. Right. Hey, Cody, I don't like the new kid. He's really mean. Yeah, he's kind of a douche. Hey, uh, why are you sitting on the desk? Because fuck chairs. You know, whoever invented chairs, fuck that guy. Oh, sitting down, lazy fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna stand for the rest of the class because sitting is for poor people. Um, are those AirPods? What the fuck does it look like? Are they nice? It doesn't matter if they're nice. They're expensive, that's the point. Well, should I buy some? Where are your fucking ears? You so poor you can't even afford ears? What kind of poor shit is that? Hmm? 
Hey, poor kid. What? Ow. Give me your desk. So 10 pennies makes one dime. So we know that 100 pennies makes one dollar. So how many pennies make $20? That's a lot of fucking pennies. So we know that 100 pennies hey. make $1. So up here, we do give me your desk. Give you my desk? You already have two desks. Why do you need mine? Because I want it. And, and, and what's that thing beside you? What, my boyfriend? Yeah, him. Give me him and your desk. I'm not giving you my boyfriend or my desk. $10,000 is not enough to buy. I have three desks. I am winning. $40,000 well spent. And I got a doll. All right, class. So, on the gold dollar, we have Sacagawea, and she was a pirate, just like Ruiz and Croc. So they put her on the gold doubloons for the pirates. All right, and then next we have the half dollar, and we have John F. Kennedy on the half dollar because he's missing half his fucking head. All right, and let me tell you what really fucking me up right now. All right, listen. George Washington, first president, so they put him on the one dollar bill. But Abraham Lincoln is 16th president, and they put his ass on the five dollar bill. But what about my nigga James Monroe? He was the real fifth president, so why don't they just put Abraham Lincoln on the 16 dollar bill? Yeah, see, see now it's fucking with you, in it? Then we have Michael Jackson's brother, Andrew Jackson. Seventh president on the $20 bill. What kind of sense that make? It make no sense. So what you could do was put Andrew Jackson on a $5 bill and Abraham Lincoln on $20 bill and it'd be a little bit closer. So class, that's all you need to know about money for today. Hey, hey Cody Jr., what happened to your desk? Ah, new kid. Hey, new kid. I know you hear me. You can't just buy other kid desks because you have money. Get down from that right now or else you go to detention. Never mind. All right, class. Class dismissed. I am now retiring. It was nice knowing you guys. Wait, school's done already? Wow, this school stuff's easy. Oh, man, today was the best day ever. School's out already and I got to make a bunch of money. I just don't know what to spend it on. Hey, Junior, come outside. I want to show you what I bought. You bought something? Oh, yeah, it's totally sick. Okay. Here she is, Junior. Here she is. Whoa, Cody, that's a cool bike. Yeah, it's Journey Girls. Sick bike, Cody. Sick bike. Where'd you get it from? Target. Uh, how much was it? It was about 200 bucks, but it's okay. It didn't even put a dent in all the money I have. Well, I want to go buy one. No, you can't, Junior. It's sold out. They're sold out everywhere. It doesn't matter how much money you have. You can't get one. This is the last one. I'll keep it forever. Uh-oh, Cody. What? Yeah, oh, shit. What are you poor kids doing? Uh, looking at Cody's new bike. Oh, nice! Give me your bike. W why do you want my bike? You're driving a little tykes Lamborghini. Oh, I don't want your bike. I just don't want you to have it. Wait. Now give me your bike. Okay, where do you want it? Just put it on the back. Wait, wait, wait give me your bike! Fine. He gave me a bunch of money, Junior. Nice. There goes my bike. Well, Cody, you didn't have to give it to him. Junior, he gave me like two grand. I only spent $200 on the bike. I had to take him up on it. Well, what are you gonna buy now? Well, I can't buy anything now. If Richard sees me with something new, he's just gonna buy it from me, and I'm gonna have to agree because he's gonna give me way too much money. Oh, yeah, I don't know what to buy either. So you're really not gonna buy anything else? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I did buy these glasses for my glasses. So I can call you six eyes? <sighs> Never mind. So you're not upset that Ken is hanging out with that new guy? Oh no, I know exactly what Ken's doing. He's just gonna be with him long enough to marry him, and then he's gonna take half his stuff and divorce him and come back to me. Ken's smart like that. Oh, I guess that is pretty smart. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna buy with all my money. I wonder what Joseph spent his money on. I spent it on Asian bitches! Joseph? <laughs> Talk about Bangkok, right guys? Well Joseph, you look pimping! I know, right dude? Look, I bought new shoes, a new chain, and some new Ray-Bans for my face. <laughs> oh, oh, and I got my own action figure. Look, it even talks. Listen. He's a dog, dude. 
Whoa, Joseph, that doll is so cool. Yeah, just don't let Richard see you with it. He'll buy it from you. Oh, I've already seen it. Damn it. And I want it. And what makes you think you can have the same shoes as me? I like these shoes. I don't care if you like those shoes or not. They were designed for me, so only I can have them. So give me your shoes. I'm not giving you my shoes. Junior, get your friend's shit and give it to me. I'm not going to take my friend's stuff from him. Sorry, Joseph. I'm going to have to rough you up. Aw, dude. Give me your glasses. There you go. I like this stuff, though. Give me your shoes. Oh, come on, dude. Don't do me like this. Yeah, give me your oh. shoes. There you go. No, give no, the, give no, me the not, chain. Not the chain. Give me the chain. Dude, oh, you're just going to break oh, it? Give me the chain. Oh, dude. <laughs> Here's a chain. Oh, man, dude, why would you do that? Because money talks, Joseph. Now get out of here. Aww. Wait, do you want the action figure, too? Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, there you go. Just don't buy things that I like. What? But that's everything. Guess we can't buy anything, Cody. <sighs> Junior, I don't think this money's making me happy. Yeah, I don't think money's making me happy either. <laughs> hey, Chef, I'm hungry and I need you to make me food. <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? It doesn't matter who I am. I'm hungry and I need you to make me food. And this is what I want. I want a filet mignon, rare, still mooing, side of asparagus, Caesar salad, caviar, calamari, and a big ass potato. Get it done. Well, yeah, it's getting Fruit Loops, because that's all we got. Fruit Loops? No, I want what I order. You're getting Fruit Loops. Okay, here's your Fruit Loops. What kind of poor food is this? It's cereal. It's good. I don't want this. I want what I ordered. Where's my steak and my big-ass potato? Look, I don't have any steaks or big-ass potatoes, okay? Look, I only have cereal. What? Well, go get my steak and my big-ass potato. Oh, 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 okay, I can do that. Uh, you know what? I know exactly where I should go to uh, get your steak and potatoes. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm going to go to the Bahamas, yeah, on a cruise ship. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. <laughs> okay, just get it. Hmm, I wonder what these taste like. Hmm, this poor food's actually pretty good. All right, Cody, it's your turn. Okay. Hey guys, I like Fruit Loops now. Cool, why don't you just go buy all the boxes of Fruit Loops in the world? You know something? I think I might. What are you guys doing? We're playing a board game called The Game of Life. Oh, that's cool, how do you win? Whoever has the most money at the end wins. Oh, cool, can I play? Sure. I win. No, it doesn't work like that. You can't use real money. You have to use the game's money. Yeah, you can't use real money. You gotta use this. Of course I can use real money. Real money buys me anything. Uh, well, it doesn't work here. Yeah, it doesn't work in this game. Well, let me buy your game. But, no, it's our game. We don't want to give it away. Yeah. Ugh. I want your game. Give me your game. Well, we don't want your money anymore. We have, we have enough money. Yeah. You're, uh, do you hear yourself right now? You guys sound crazy. Enough money? You can never have enough money. Well, no, we, 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 we have enough money. We don't want your money. No matter how much money you throw at us, we're not going to give you our game. Ugh. No, no stop, Ugh. stop throwing money. We don't, we, don't, we don't want your money. We're not going to give you our stupid board game. I have never been able to solve a problem without using money. Well, you know what? We're not going to give you our game with money. We don't want your stupid money. So take your dumb money back. Yeah. We don't want it. We don't want your money. You don't want my money? I guess money doesn't buy happiness? It doesn't. Nope, you can't buy everything. Uh, hello? Hey, Mario. What, Goodman, what are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be on the moon. I know, Mario. The worst thing happened. What happened? Remember how I told you I was holding in my piss for a week? Yeah. Well, when I got to the spaceship, they were strapping me in, and they tightened the seat belt a little too tight across my bladder, and I pissed my pants. I ruined the whole thing! What? But it felt great, Mario. Don't worry about that. It felt so good, I was moaning the Halo theme song. Like, Oh, that. So we had to reschedule for next week. Okay, so you need your son back? Yep, give me my son, Mario. All right, let me go get him. All right. Okay, Richard, it's your turn. All right. Hey, Richard, your dad's here to get you. Oh, but I'm playing with my friends. Yeah, but your dad said it's time to go. All right, bye, guys. Hi, father. Hi, son. Did you have a good time at Mario's house? Oh, I sure did, dad. I learned a lot. Oh, what'd you learn, son? I learned that money cannot buy you happiness. You can't just use money to get you out of certain situations. And you can't buy your friends. You have to make friends for who you truly are. And the most important thing isn't money. It's friends and family. 
what the fuck are you talking about? You need to wash your mouth out with soap when we get home. Money can buy you happiness, money can buy you friends, and money will solve all of your problems. If you think money doesn't buy you happiness, then let me smack those fucking AirPods right at your stupid fucking head. Now get your ass in that fucking Lamborghini. Yes, sir, dad. Guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, Junior, it's raining. Yeah, I got a lot of money. We could pay the rain to go away. Yeah, I don't think it works like that. Ooh, guys, I know what to do. How about we play house? Ooh, dude, let's play house. I want to do that. Yeah, that sounds great. How do you play house? You just sit there and appreciate until it's worth more money and then you sell it? No, 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 no. When we play house, we pretend to be a family. Yeah. Like, I'm the husband, uh, Joseph's the wife, mm -hmm. and uh, Cody's the daughter, and we just pretend to be a family. So do you want to play? Uh, as long as I can be rich, I'll play. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll find you a spot. Let's play. Okay. Get my money. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, I'm so glad we're working out our relationship for the family. Yeah, me too. Sally graduates high school soon, and she doesn't need us stressing her out with arguing and fighting all the time. So I'm glad we worked our relationship out. Oh, me too. <laughs> so what are you cooking? Oh, I'm just making hot dogs for the family. Hot dogs? Yeah. Now, baby, huh? I don't want to start an argument, but remember this morning I said I wanted chicken nuggets. Oh, nuggets? But I guess you're just too much of a dumb bitch to remember that. Oh, well, sweetie, I'm making hot dogs and I can't stop now. Yeah, me and you both know once you start on other wieners, you can't stop until you finish them. Well, maybe I wouldn't start on other wieners if I had a wiener at home that would satisfy me. Well, maybe the wiener at home would satisfy you if you didn't have such an ugly body. <gasps> Junior, look, my body hasn't been the same since I gave birth. You know that. And nobody told you to give birth. I told you to take plan B the night it happened, but you said no. Let's let God decide. Well, God made a horrible decision because you gave birth. Junior, that is our daughter you're talking about. What's your mouth? I don't care about our daughter. All I care about is your ugly, disgusting body. Junior, you know my body hasn't been the same, and I want a new one. Well, if you want a new body, why don't you just go to Walmart and buy one in the C-section? <gasps> C-section? You really gonna go there? You gonna mix up my scar? Yeah. How about we mention some uncircumcised penis of yours? Oh, uncircumcised penis? Yeah, well, women actually prefer that, and, and, and it's uncircumcised because it's healthier and, and more natural, and also, I'm more sensitive down there. Oh, yeah, I know you're more sensitive down there, mister. I only last 10 seconds? Well, I wouldn't want to last a second more with your disgusting body. Well, I wouldn't want to last a second more with yours. Well, then fine. Let's get another divorce then. Oh, fine, then. Uh, Mom, where's Dad? Who knows? Who cares? <sighs> Dad, where'd you get a cheeseburger? McDonald's. Oh, really? I didn't know they sold beer at McDonald's. Well, I didn't know they sold ugly at whatever stores you shop at. <gasps> Good one, Dad. Oh, whoa, whoa, Sally, nice tits. Oh, thanks, Dad. I know you didn't get them from your mother, because she's flat-chested. Hey, Sally, do you have a penis? But no, Mom, I'm a girl. Well, I guess you got that for your dad, because it's like he doesn't even have one because it's so small. Hey Sally, are you a bitch? No. Because if you are, you got that from your mother. <gasps> hey Sally, are you an alcoholic? But, uh, I don't know. Well, if you ever become one, just know you got that from your father. Oh, I'm an alcoholic? The pro's right in front of you. Wow. Good guys, guys, stop fighting. I graduate tomorrow. <gasps> what? T tomorrow? You didn't tell me it was tomorrow. I didn't know. What, you graduate tomorrow? You guys are going to be at my graduation, right? Uh, of course I'm going to be there, Sally. I'm your mother, but I can't say about your father. He might be drunk. I'm not going to be drunk. What time tomorrow? Uh, five o'clock. Five o'clock, I'll be there. Five o'clock tomorrow. Not drunk. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? Uh, in the, uh, 503. Oh shoot, I'm late for the graduation. Uh, and beer. Come on, beer, let's go. Da -na 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 beer man. Oh shit. Oh, okay, just just play it cool and everything will be fine. Just, just play it cool. Man, man, man. They never learn. Um, excuse me, sir. How's your day going? It was going a lot better until your ass showed up. Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, this vehicle has been reported stolen by Batman. 
no, no. This vehicle wasn't stolen by a black man. It was stolen by me. No, I did not say a black man. I said Batman reported this vehicle stolen. Well, no, no. This, this is my vehicle. It's not stolen. It's, it's mine. Sir, you have a bat on your hood. Well, you have lights on your motorcycle, but I don't report your motorcycle stolen by light man. Oh, God. Uh, sir, your breath smells like alcohol. And your breath smells like bacon because you're a pig. Well, sir, I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle. It sounds like you're intoxicated. No, no can do. I, I got to get to my sister, um, so, so daughter's graduation. No, sir, you're not going anywhere. Please step outside of the car. No, no I, I got I to gotta get going. You got to catch me first. Wait, what? No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, oh shoot! Oh, God. Suspect has crashed! Suspect has crashed! Uh, oh, I gotta get my beer. Oh, no more beer for you, sir. You're going to jail. No, the beer. Oh no, no more beer. Uh, beer! Come on! Oh, Sally, I'm so proud of you. You're the first person in our family to graduate high school. Thanks, mom. But wait, where's dad? Oh, he's probably at home getting drunk. Let's go and find him. Okay. Uh. Hey, Bob, your family's here to see you. Shake, Junior, just shake. Dad, you missed my graduation. How could you? Oh, it's just a piece of paper anyway. That you never got. You should be proud of our daughter. Look, 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 stop screaming. I'll make it up to her someday. I'll buy her a pony. You chance to make it up to her. You're going to jail for years. I'm not going to jail for years. I'll beat the case like I always do. Beat the case? That's not what your sexy lawyer said. I, I mean, your lawyer, that's not what he said. What did what, what he say? Look, you should talk to him. Hmm. Dad, I don't love you anymore. Oh, c Sally, come on. S don't be like that, Sally. Come on. I'm your dad. Ah. <laughs> You are so fucked. What are you talking about, lawyer? As your lawyer, named lawyer, this does not look good for you. They are charging you with running from the police, grand theft auto, not the game, destruction of property, not to mention this is your fifth DUI. I know I got a lot of DUIs, but usually they let me go. Well, not this time. The judge is pissed and he's trying to make an example out of you. He's giving you a year in jail. A year in jail? There's nothing you can do? Oh, I did do something. He was going to give you five years, but I had to tickle his balls just to get it down to one year. I had to get him off to get you off. I don't think I can spend a year in jail. Look, best case scenario, six months with good behavior. Six months? I guess that sounds a lot better, but what about my family? Who's going to take care of them? I'll take care of that. You sit your ass in jail and you think about what you did. Aww. All right, Bob, your year's up! I didn't have good behavior. All right, come on! <sighs> Home at last. Why is the door locked at my house? Can I help you? Lawyer, what are you doing at my house? Your house? This is my house now. What are you talking about? Oh, you were in jail for a year and you didn't pay your house payment. So they put a lien against your property and I paid that shit off. So now I own your house. Well, what about my family? Um, honey, who's at the door? Shut the hell up, bitch. It's the lawn guy. He wants to know if he can eat dinner with us. What? I guess. Is that my family in there? Yeah, and I bought them too. So if you want to eat dinner with us, wipe your feet off at the front door. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, family. This shithead decided to ruin our beautiful dinner. Ugh, it's Junior. Junior, what are you doing here? What's going on, guys? I'm gone for a year and you replace me? <sighs> While you were riding away in prison, I decided to move on with my life. And that's when I met Lawyer. And he changed our life for the better. Look, we eat the best food. And look, I don't even have to cook or clean anymore. Your wife is eating bok choy, grapes, and crab legs, mm -hmm. while I enjoy a nice Maine lobster with New England clam chowder and one big ass fucking carrot. And for dessert, I'm having cream brulee. Dad, can I trade you my chicken for your lobster? You shut the fuck up and eat your squeaky chicken. <laughs> okay. And for you, Sally, get his food. Oh, right. Here you go, Junior. Wait, what is this? That's a big ass fucking pea. A pea? Yep, you eat it like an apple. That's like a week's worth of peas right there. Mm -hmm. It's better to eat it that way than the way I eat it, but, you know, the more balls the better. Wait, who is this? Oh, me and Ken split up. This is my new boyfriend. His name is Pepperidge. You know, like the farm. 
So, so I'm gone for a year and you forget about me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. I forget you existed until you walked in. Well, well, Sally, I didn't forget about that pony I was supposed to get you back when I was in prison like a year ago. Oh, speaking of pony, everyone, let's go outside. I bought Sally a treat. Okay. All right, Sally. Happy random surprise day. Oh my god, a pony! You're the best dad ever! Oh, lawyer, why are you so great to us? Because I'm gonna clap them cheeks later. Oh, you know you will. Ooh, what's the trophy about? Oh, it won! W what did it win? Uh, uh, being the best pony. The best pony it could be. Pony as fuck. You know what, I just went to the pony store and I bought the pony with the trophy. I love it! Oh, well, just in case you're lying to me and you don't love it, I also bought you a pink Corvette. What? It's been saturated in Siberian Husky piss. Oh my god, Dad, I love that too. I love both of the things. Oh, Sally, 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 I also got you a gift on, on Random Surprise Day. Uh, okay. Uh, I got you a, 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 this. It's, a, it's, a, it's the slinky I used in prison. It's just a broken slinky. But, no, but it has love in it because I played with it for a year in prison. Okay, I, I like the car and the pony better. Wait, so you guys are just gonna let him replace me? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And you got my daughter a pony because you knew I was gonna get her one. Yep. Well, wait, God, you really gonna do this to me? Uh, yep. Sure. Yeah. You really love him more than me? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I did for this family? Uh, for years I raised you, Sally, and for years I loved you, honey. And you're gonna do this to me? All right, everyone. Let's get back to this fabulous dinner. Dad, thanks for the car and the pony. Oh, no problem, honey. Don't mention it. But, lawyer, you didn't have to be rude to Junior. What the fuck did I do? How was I rude? Look, you didn't have to buy that pony for Sally. Junior wanted to do it. He would do it eventually. How? He is a convicted felon. Where is he going to get a job that he's going to make enough money to afford an $80,000 pony with a trophy? Look, lawyer, that used to be my husband. I still have feelings for him, okay? Oh, Hold on, bitch. What, what, did you, what did you say to me? I still have feelings for him. He used to be my... Ah! Oh, my wig! Don't you ever talk to me like that again. Oh, uh, my God. Dad, now that you're hitting Mom, can I have her crab legs? Shut the fuck up. You still didn't eat your squeaky chicken. I don't like squeaky chicken. All right, then. Then eat your squeaky turkey ass. I don't like that either. Well, now you do. Okay, I guess I like it now. Oh, you know what, lawyer? I'm just gonna take my wig and go to the country club. All right, you're welcome, bitch. <laughs> and then, and then, my own daughter and wife said they'd rather be with this rich guy other than me. <laughs> Junior! <laughs> Junior, are you here? Oh, honey, what are you doing here? Oh, Junior, wait, Junior, who is that fat bitch? Oh, uh, this, this is, uh, uh, this is Heather. Uh, we work at Subway together. Oh, really? Subway? Uh -huh. It doesn't even look like she eats Subway meals. Well, as a matter of fact, she does eat Subway. She eats the cookies. Oh, I can tell. It goes straight to her thighs. Well, what are you even doing here? Aren't you supposed to be eating lobster with a lawyer and all that stuff? Look, Junior, I didn't want to be with lawyer. He's not good to me. I just want my family. He thinks he can solve everything with money, and he just can't. He can't? No, he can't. Look, I need you. I want you, Junior. But, but, but I have a drinking problem. Oh, I love your drinking problem. It's sexy. But I love your ugly, disgusting, fat body. <gasps> oh, come here, Junior! <laughs> 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 Fucking new. <gasps> Lawyer, what are you doing here? I called the country club and I spoke to Chives and he said you never showed up. So I knew exactly what the fuck that meant. That meant you came to poor guy's house. Uh, look, lawyer, it's not what you think, I swear. Oh, it's not what I think? Because I think you guys were about to pork. Porky fucking pig. Right on this goddamn couch. I mean, we were. Yeah. You can't yeah, lie. Yeah, right. And I'm a fucking lawyer. And that means you're not getting fucked because you signed a prenup. So all this fucking money right here this is my fucking money. And that goddamn pony out there? That's my fucking pony. And I'm gonna ride that bitch into town like Yankee fucking doodle. And I'm gonna take that trophy and stick it up my ass and call it macaroni. And that fucking Corvette out there, that's mine too. So have a nice life being fucking poor. You know what, Junior? It doesn't even matter because I only want you. Really? Really? Oh, let's go have our family back. Okay. Oh man, I'm really glad to have my family back.
Yeah, Junior. It really is the simple things in life that matters. Fuck that. I miss being rich. I had a pony and a car. Now I'm eating a hot dog with a spoon. This shit sucks. Now, Sally, don't raise your voice like that or I'm gonna have to beat you again. Oh, Junior, do it again for old time's sake. Oh, Sally, get over here. Okay. Oh, 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 oh Junior, what, what? I forgot to tell you something. What? I'm pregnant. It is with lawyer's baby. What? Yeah. Oh, bitch, I ought to... You. Wait, 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 hold on. What? Uh, oh, my mom's calling, Junior. I have to go home. Really? I was about to meet Joseph. Come on, I was waiting for that. Sorry, guys, I gotta go. I guess we're gonna have to continue this later, Joseph. All right, dude. <sighs> You piece of shit. You shitty Lamborghini. My car broke down. I'm gonna have to call my dad and get him to buy me a new one. You piece of shit. What? My phone's dead. What the? Fuck? What kind of poor shit is this? What am I gonna do? Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to go up to that poor house and see if I can buy their phone. Shit. Who's that? Uh, hello? Hey, poor person. Hey, Richard. Ew, it knows my name. Anyway, peasant, you see that piece of shit out in the road over there? Isn't that a Lamborghini? Unfortunately, yes. And my Lamborghini just shit the bed. So I need to buy your phone to call my dad so he can come pick me up in our private helicopter. But why don't you just use your phone? My phone died. It's a piece of shit. So I need to buy your phone so I can call my dad. Well, why don't you just charge your phone? What is that? What, charging your phone? Yeah, what the f*** are you saying to me? Wait, so when your phone dies, just buy a new phone? Yeah, and sometimes I have to buy a new phone every single day. Sometimes two or three times a day. Well, you don't have to do that. You can just charge it. Come inside, I'll show you. All right, Richard, so you just plug your phone into this. What is that? A shoelace? Wait, no, it's not a shoelace. It's a charger. What does a charger do? It turns your phone back on. How? Well, you see, your phone has this hole in it right there. Ew, my phone has a hole in it? It's broken. I definitely need a new phone now. Well, no, no, every phone has a hole in it. Well, I'm going to buy one that doesn't have a hole in it. That doesn't exist. Well, with enough money, anything exists. You ever seen a woman with three tits? No. I have. It's my nanny. And thanks to my plastic surgeon, she's got three hoo-hoos. Well, look, you don't have to keep buying new phones. You can just charge yours. Look, look at what you do. <sighs> Come on, stick it in there. Hold on, I'm really bad with the Capri Sun. I'm not really good at finding holes. Uh, there it is. All right, there you go. Now what? In about 30 seconds, your phone's gonna come back on. No way. Yeah, you know, look, 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 look. See, look, and then you flip your phone over and it works. What type of poor magic is that? It's not poor magic, it's the phone charger. It turns your phone back on. Well, whatever it is, it's f***ing cool. Now I'm gonna call my dad and tell him to come pick me up. Hey, Siri. I said, hey, Siri. I swear to God, the dumb bitch in my phone doesn't want to listen sometimes. If she wasn't so hot, I'd fire her ass. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Call my fucking dad. Calling fucking dad. iPhone. I have her set on Australian, because she sounds fucking hot. I want to see her cans. Mmm, a little lower. <sighs> Hold on, my piece of shit son is calling. That doesn't mean stop! What do you want, son? I'm getting a massage from Ling Ling. Is she hot? No. Wait. Ew, no! Definitely would not bang. Unless I put a paper bag over her head and my head. Jesus Christ! It looks like someone could land a plane on that nose. I can hear you. Well, I wasn't trying for you not to hear me, you donkey mouth. Oh. Anyway, son, what do you want? Well, Dad, you're a piece of shit. Wait, me? What did I do? Oh. You know that shitty Lamborghini you bought me? Well, it just broke down in Hillbilly Town. It almost killed me. Wait, how did that happen? I was driving my Lamborghini, and out of nowhere, it caught on fire and flipped 15 times. Now it's broke down on some dirt road, and I'm inside some farm with no electricity. But thankfully, some turtle let me borrow his shoelace to turn my phone back on. So send Chives in the private helicopter to come get me right now. I do phone. What? I'll do it after my massage. No, you'll do it now because this is your fault. You got me in this situation when you bought me the shitty red Lamborghini when I wanted the yellow Ferrari. Look, I thought you wanted the Lamborghini. Don't you raise your voice at me. I'm not. 
I'm sorry. You'd be stressed out too if you had some baboon rubbing all over you. <clears throat> Harder next time, Rafiki. Look, I'll send chives in the helicopter. Now I gotta go. I think the happy ending is coming up. It's actually gonna be an ugly ending for me. All right, bye, Dad. God, my life is so shitty. What's wrong? Well, I'm stuck here with you on this farm. My dad's getting a tuggy. Well, I thought it was really cool that you didn't have to touch your phone to answer it. Why would I have to touch my phone? It has a hole in it. Ew! Well, I'm just saying your AirPods are really cool. Yeah, I think they're cool too. They're mine. Y yeah, I wish I could afford some. Yeah, but you can't, because you're poor. Yeah, I'm poor. Hey, you know what would be really cool? If you let me borrow them for a day. Uh, no. Because you don't even have any ears. Ew! Yeah. But I guess since you did help me bring my phone back to life with your shoelace, I guess I'll let you borrow them. What? But only for a day. What, really? Yeah, but if you lose one, I swear to God, I'm going to wipe my ass with your bib. Oh, okay, I won't lose them, I promise. All right, good. Oh, you hear that? That's my helicopter. Chives must be here to save me from this farm. I'll see you tomorrow, kid. All right, wait, 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 you forgot your phone. He doesn't care anyway. Oh my god, I got AirPods! I'm gonna call my friends! Uh, hello? What, what are you poor guys doing here? Nigga, I've been poor. Junior, you called us. Oh, I must have forgot because I have all this loud music in my ears. What, Junior, are those AirPods? Oh, you rich now? Yeah, I'm super rich, really rich. See the AirPods? That's how rich I am. Dang. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, come inside so I can tell you how rich I am. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm not going to be able to hang out with you too much longer. My dad's buying a yacht, and we're going to sail around the world to Fiji to get bottled water. What? But, you know, Junior, you can just fly there. Yeah, but that's not how rich people travel, Cody. Duh, Cody. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, Junior, do you think I can borrow some money, dude? What? Ew, borrow some money? Yeah. Piss. Oh, oh, ew, rich people spit. It actually tastes like money. Ooh, spit in my mouth. Piss. Mmm. Oh, oh, yeah, it tastes like Junior. Yeah, so you poor people quenched yet? Uh, a little bit. Uh, wait, wait, Chef Pee Pee's calling you, Junior. What, uh, oh, he is? I didn't hear him over my AirPods. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Junior! Sorry, Chef Pee Pee, I couldn't hear you. I have AirPods. I don't care. I told you to put your dirty dishes in the sink. Uh, I did. No, you didn't. It's right there. You set it on the counter. It's not in the sink. Put it in the sink. Well, I don't know what that looks like. Show me. Oh, my God. All you have to do is pick it up and put it in the thing, just like that. Well, you already did it, so what do you need me for? No, no Junior. You're supposed to do it. You do it. What? what Chef, I don't want to do it. If you're going to do it, Junior. It's your dish. All right, Chef, I have a game. I'm thinking of a number between one and a thousand. If you guess it right, I don't have to put it in the sink. <sighs> Whatever. I'll guess it right. Um, 638. <gasps> Chef, you got it right. Yeah, damn straight I got it right. <laughs> I know I was going to get it right. <laughs> I'm a genius. You didn't think Yeah, I yeah, you got it. 638, you got yeah. it. Wait, 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 wait. You're supposed to do it, Junior. Well, I don't want it. Chevy, look, I have AirPods, okay? I don't I care what you have, Junior. You're supposed to clean up after yourself. You already put it in the sink twice. I have AirPods. I don't have to do peasant stuff like that anymore. Oh, oh you got AirPods? Yeah, I got AirPods. Let me, let me see this. No, give it back, give it back. Uh, uh, Chevy, go! Shut <laughs> me, why would you do that? Because you kept bragging about your stupid AirPods. You broke one of them. Oh, I did? Oh, I forgot about the other one. What Shut me, me, stop. You broke both the AirPods. Well, that's what you deserve. Now you'll learn to clean the dishes from now on. Shut me, me, you broke them and they're not even mine. Stupid. I'll, I'll teach you to clean a dish. Really, Junior? Really? God damn. Did I just hear a plate break? <laughs> Wait, Junior, where are your AirPods? Dude, are you broke? Ooh, let's find out. Spit in my mouth again. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure. Try your tongue this time. Guys, I don't have time for this. Look, I have a confession to make. Here it comes. Those were not my AirPods. Wait, dude, are you a phony? I knew it. Well, guys, look, Richard came over and he had AirPods and I asked to borrow them, so he let me borrow them for a day and he told me not to lose them. And then Chevy just broke them. Well, what are you going to do, Junior? He's going to want those back. Yeah, dude. Maybe I can just buy some new ones, right? Dude, they're like a bajillion dollars. Yeah, Junior, they're really expensive. Okay, well, well let's put all our money together and maybe we can afford them. Uh, Joseph, how much money do you have? Dude, I'm broke as a joke. Well, what about you, Cody? Sorry, Junior. I just spent all my money on getting my teeth whitened. What? Teeth whitened? Yeah, I got both my teeth whitened. They're, they're really white now, look. That's stupid! Well, well, you don't even have teeth, Junior. If I had teeth, I wouldn't spend money getting them whitened. They're already white. It's stupid. <laughs> okay, um, uh, they're like $200, right? So, um, okay, if I save them up, I can just buy them, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, you could just try asking Chef Pee Pee for the money. He's the one that broke them in the first place. Yeah, you could do that, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm asking Chef Pee Since he broke them, he has to pay me back for them. <gasps> 
Damn it, Junior. Always making a mess. Hey, Chef PP, uh, what are you doing? I'm cleaning up the mess that you made. Oh, well, um, can I have $200 to buy new AirPods? Oh, sure, Junior. Let me just pull $200 out of my ass. Hold on. I'm waiting. It's a figure of speech, Junior. I was just kidding. What, you, why would you say you could do that if you can't do it? It's a figure of speech. You don't even deserve the money, Junior. Well, you broke my AirPods, so you have to buy me new ones. Well, you broke my plate. You gotta buy me a new plate. Okay, hold on. Let me pull a new plate out of my ass. I'm waiting. It's a figure of speech. Remember, I can't do that. Well, you better find another plate if you want your stupid AirPods. Okay, fine. I'll find another plate. All right, guys, do any of you know how to make pottery? What? I have to make Chef Pee a new plate. Wait, why? Because I broke a plate when he broke my AirPods, so he said if I can make him a new plate, he'll get me new AirPods. Well, that's not a fair exchange. Dude, why don't you just get Chef Pee to buy another plate? Well, good idea, Joseph. He can give me the money to buy a new plate. Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, Chef Pee um, can I borrow money to buy you a new plate? Junior, do you even hear yourself? What? Do you even think before you speak? Why would I give you money to pay me back? Oh, I guess I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, you didn't think about it. Chevy won't buy me a new plate either. Aww. Cody, what are you doing? Oh, listening to music. What are you listening to? The national anthem. Aw, oh, dude, that's my shit! I got that song on repeat! Yeah, that shit slaps. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait a minute, hold on. What? Asshole, my favorite part was coming up. Dude, the rockets? Yes, the rockets red glare. Dude, the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in the proof. That part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Junior, why would you do that? Because they look like AirPods. They're not AirPods. Do they still work? No. Oh, look, 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 let me get the scissors. Watch, I'll show you. See, look, don't those look like AirPods? Yeah, a little, I guess, but they don't work. Yeah, but I can just tell Richard they died or something. All right, fine. You have fun with that. I'm going to go not listen to the national anthem because you destroyed my headphones. Well, thanks for your headphones, Cody. Uh, dude, my stomach's rumbling. I'm going to see if I can go and catch a wild squirrel. All right, I'm going to give these to Richard tomorrow and just tell him they died. Yeah. Hey, peasant, I'm here for my AirPods. Well, here they are, good as new. Oh, great. Why is there no sound coming out of them? Oh, I think they died. Oh, ew, I don't want that on me. I'll just use my new ones. What, you have new ones? Yeah, I buy a new pair every time they die, just like my phone. What, really? Yeah, so why don't you just stick your shoelace in that, and if they work, you can have them. What, really? Yep, have a nice poor life. Attention all passengers, your flight has been canceled. The plane is on fire. We will refund you all your money. Junior, go to sleep. It's midnight. God, shut up. But Chef PB, the plane's on fire. Well, they're not going to be able to board the plane, Junior, because it's on fire. Unless the fire truck comes to save the day. Junior, shut up. No, no, that fire truck has to go. But, but they're going to put the fire out, Chef PB. No, they're not. Well, so you want them to board the plane with it on fire? Sure, sure. Whatever makes you go to sleep faster. All right, guys. Board the plane. I know it's on fire, but Chevy B wants you to board the plane, so get on the plane. <sighs> oh, no, we're going down. But, Junior, what are you doing? The plane crashed. It was on fire. Well, if it was on fire, it should have never taken off. Exactly, but you stopped the fire truck. Oh, my God, Junior, just go to bed. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Hopefully, it's a kidnapper. Go and open the door. Uh, okay. Idiot. Uh, hello? Hey, Junior! Hey, guys! What are you doing here so late? Well, me and Joseph were wondering if, if you wanted, wanted to have a sleepover! A sleepover? Yeah! No! What? Why would I want to have a sleepover with you losers? Losers! <laughs> Just kidding! I wouldn't do that to you guys! Oh. Okay. Yeah, you haven't seen my new bed! Uh, ooh, new okay. bed? I want to see that. Yeah. Dude, I don't even have a bed. I sleep on dirt. It's actually soft, way comfortable than concrete. Uh, 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 okay. Well, come on inside. See my new bed. Yeah. Okay, dude. All right, guys. Check out my new bed. Whoa, you have a bunk bed? That's shit, dude. Junior. Oh, no. No way. Tell your friends to go home. I'm trying to go to sleep here. Whoa, Junior. You share a bunk bed with Chef Pee Pee? Yeah, it sucks. Junior, did you not hear what I just said? Tell your friends to leave. Shut up, bottom bunk. <gasps> what did you call me? That's right. You're bottom bunk. I'm top bunk. I make all the rules, so shut up. Oh, my God. This is reminding me of the orphanage all over again. All right, guys. Get up on here. <laughs> You better not make too much noise. I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> All right, guys. What do you think about my new bunk bed? It's cool, I guess. Oh, oh, dude, it's so bouncy. Right? It's so bouncy. Yeah. 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 It's so bouncy. <laughs> Junior, stop jumping up and down in that bed. You're going to break it. Shut up, 
Chef PP, the only way this bed would break is if Cody's mom was up here. <laughs> Cause she's fat? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wait, what? Uh, Joseph, I bet you're a dollar you won't stick your head in that ceiling fan. Show me the money. What, uh, Cody, you have a dollar? Yup. <sighs> okay. Oh, dude, that's a bed. What? Junior Joseph's head came off! That's sick! Well, yeah, it was pretty gnarly. Do you think he's okay? Junior, he lost his head for a dollar. We should probably call a doctor. <sighs> Let's ask Chef and see what he says. He is the adult. <laughs> Joseph's head! It's right there! It has no body! Where's his body? Oh my god! Hey, Chef PB, uh, Joseph's missing his head. I can see that! <laughs> well, Cody said we should call the doctor. Do you think we should call the doctor? <laughs> Duh! What do you mean, Junior? Duh! Call the doctor right now! Okay, but I didn't hear you say, please. <laughs> Please! Please call the doctor! There's a head on my bed! Okay, that rhymed, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> hey, somebody call the doctor? Whoa, what happened here? Uh, my friend's missing his head. Yeah, I can see that. How'd that happen? Well, Cody paid him a dollar to stick his head in the ceiling fan. What? No, Junior, you paid him. Where'd I get the dollar from? <sighs> Me. So you funded the whole operation. You're guilty. Look, I don't really care who funded it. I'm just more worried about this headless kid right here. Well, uh, do you think you can fix him? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, no, I don't. Well, I have this double-sided tape. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, I guess I can give it a shot. <sighs> Voila! Good as new. Dude, I feel weird. Uh, you put his head on backwards. Oh, did I? Well, just be glad his head's even on his shoulders. Uh, Joseph, you feel okay? Uh, no, dude, I don't feel too good. I think I'm gonna go home. I'm out of here, dude. Uh, wrong way, Joseph. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, I gotta figure this out. At least it'll be easier to wipe. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. All right, Cody, let's continue our sleepover. Yeah! So, Cody, what do you want to do for the rest of the sleepover? Go to sleep! <laughs> shut up, Chef PB. Yeah, shut up, Bottom Bunk. Yeah, your name should be Chef BB for Chef Bottom Bunk. Well, just go to sleep, Junior! <sighs> Cody, Cody, I feel like we need a third person up here. No, you don't! Uh, yeah, Junior, I, I think it could just be us, you know, by <laughs> ourselves, alone up here. No, I, I feel kind of empty without Joseph. Really? Yeah, I think I'm gonna call Richard. <sighs> Come on, he's so mean though. He, he wouldn't even want to do all this poor stuff anyway. He's probably bathing in money right now. Well, let's call him and see what he's doing. All right, Cody, it's ringing. Oh, hello? Hey, Richard, it's Junior. Ew, what do you want, Junior? I'm bathing in money. I told you. Uh, well, uh, me and Cody want to know if you want to have a sleepover. A what? A sleepover. What is that? It's where you sleep at my house. Ew, why would I want to sleep at your poor house? I'm going to wake up with a disease or something. Well, no, no, no. It, normal people have sleepovers all the time. It, it, it's just you and your friend, you know? We, we just hang out and have pillow fights and, and, and sleeping and stuff, you know? Ugh. Let me dry myself off with more money, and I guess I'll come over to your poor house. But don't expect me to stay long, and I'm going to complain the whole time. All right, see you soon. Ew! All right, Cody, he's coming over. Do you hear a helicopter? Yeah. Well, that must be him. Bye, Chives. Make sure you come and pick me up in three minutes, because I know I'm not going to want to stay long. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, hey, Richard. Thanks for coming. I feel so gross being here right now. I can taste the pour in the air coming out of your house. Uh, well, 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 Richard, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a bunch of sleepover stuff, so come inside. <sighs> Look, Richard, this is my room! Ew, poor! Why do you sound like that? Because I'm holding my breath so I don't breathe in your poor air! <gasps> oh, oh, I couldn't hold it any longer. <gasps> oh no! I'm breathing in your poor air! <sighs> oh, 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 that's better. And this is the bed you're going to be sleeping in tonight! I'm going home. What is this, a treehouse? No, it's a bunk bed! Junior, stop inviting people over! It's time to go to bed! Is that a homeless man? Yeah. I'm not homeless! Oh, I didn't know this was a homeless shelter. Well, no, it's really cool. Look, 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 let's get on the bed. Like, climb up the ladder. Oh, ew, a ladder? Where's the elevator? Well, there is no elevator. It's just, it's just a ladder. Oh, ew, poor! Yeah, come on. Oh. All right, Richard. What do you want to do in this sleepover? Go home. Come on, Richard. There's so much fun stuff we can do. Tell him, Cody. Um, we can snuggle. Ew! No, we can play hide and seek. We can play video games. Or we can have a pillow fight. A pillow fight? Yeah. Pillow fight! <laughs> I got you, Cody. No, I got you. <laughs> oh, I want to play. You want to play? Oh. <laughs> Junior, you get ready. Oh. Who wants some next? Uh, Cody, we can't give up that easy. Junior, he hit us with a bag full of cash. Uh, we can take him. Uh, you want to go, Richard? Oh. Uh, Junior, no! 
Oh, that's it. You may be able to take down Junior, but you haven't even seen me at my full hunky power. Now prepare to feast your eyes on maximum hunkiness! Ow! All right, so does any other poor kid want some? Oh, so you want to have a pillow fight, huh? What? Who said that? Me! So you think you're powerful, huh? Yeah! Listen, if you strike me down now, I'll become more powerful than you ever imagined. Chef BB! No! Alright, poor man. Since I won, I'm taking your bed. Listen here, you spoiled brat! You think I'm gonna actually let you take my bed? No, this is my bed! I'm an adult! Here's a thousand bucks! Shut up and get on the top bunk like the piece of trash that you are, garbage! Uh, yes sir! Oh, I'm just gonna lay here and try to get some sleep. Oh, 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 what, what, what's wrong with this bed? Is this made out of trash bags? Ew, poor! Oh, oh, I think I have an idea on how to fix this. All right, let's see how this feels. Oh, oh yeah, that feels so much better. I'm gonna sleep like a baby now. Mm. All right, Bryce, I have to sleep up here with you guys now. Just don't make any noises, okay? All right. Richard, are you really going to sleep? I actually peed the bed, so I called Chives to come pick me up. Oh, that must be him in the helicopter to save me. Chives, I'm in here. Wait, wait, so I can get my bed back? Uh. Ew, he peed all in it. Oh, ew! So, Cody, what do you want to do in the sleepover now? Uh, I don't know. You want to have some midnight snacks? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah! <laughs> what, Joseph? Oh, hey, dude! Uh, what, what are you doing here? I thought you went home. Oh, uh, man, I tried to go home, but I wanted to fix a sandwich first. Uh, how am I doing? You know I can't see because my head's backwards. Uh, not great. Uh, what did I do wrong? It looks good to me. Thanks, bro. Yeah, so are you are you still going home or do you want to stay for the sleepover? Oh, I guess I can stay. You know, uh, I feel a lot better now, so I'll stay. D do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna grab some snacks and then we'll go back upstairs, okay? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, wrong way, Joseph. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, guys, here's our snacks. Oh, man, it looks so good. Yeah, we even got our Sour Patch Kids cereal. Ew, this is disgusting. This shouldn't even exist. Milk and sour do not go together. When milk gets sour, you throw it out. That's how this works. Yeah, it should just be a candy, not a cereal. Yeah. Um, Joseph, is Shepard be really asleep? Oh, no, I'm not sure. Let me see, dude. Oh, yeah, he's asleep. He's totally asleep. Hey, Cody, you want to go on that website we were talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Do it. All right, Joseph, keep an eye on Chevy P and let me know if he wakes up. Okay, don't worry about that. I'll keep an eye on him. Let's go on this website. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, there's so many to choose from. Which one do you want to go to first? Oh, I don't even know. Oh. Oh, oh Joseph, come look at this. Oh, dude. Oh, oh man. yeah. Oh, oh which one do you choose from? Oh, ooh, ooh, Papa Scooperia. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That one, that's the one. Oh, good, that's the one. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah. There we go. Can't wait. What, uh, click here to enable Flash. Ooh, that's it. Oh, uh, Chef BB's waking up. What, what? Oh, what are you guys doing? Uh, 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 nothing. Oh, you better not be on that cool math game. Oh, uh, we're not. Ew, yeah, ew, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. gross. Yeah, gross. That's gross. We wouldn't be on there. That's gross. Oh, okay, then. Show me the history. Uh, uh, uh Cody, take the laptop and run to your house. Yeah, okay. Uh, wait, wait, I can't show you the history because it was Cody's laptop. You know what, Julian? I'm so fed up with you. No, take everybody out of here. Everybody has to leave. Even Joseph. Oh. Wait, what's with his head? How did he get his head back on his body? Oh, uh, Joseph, come on, let's leave. Oh, okay, dude. Oh, no, no, that's right. Oh, sorry the sleepover had to end, guys. Oh, it's okay, dude. Uh, Junior, what do you want me to do with this laptop? I want you to throw it in the ocean. The deepest part of the ocean. I don't want anyone to ever find it. Got it. Um, sorry about your head, Joseph. Nah, it's all right, bro. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. All right, bye. Uh, wrong way, that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about my head <laughs> being backwards and stuff. Oh. All right, Chef Baby, they left. Well, Chef Baby! Oh, uh, uh, Junior, what are you doing here? We got cool math games. No, 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 I wasn't. Show me your history. I'm not going to show you anything. I'm a grown man. Go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, Chef Baby. Jeffy, can you answer the door? I didn't have to, I didn't have to. I don't have to, I don't have to. Jeffy, answer the door! I didn't have to. Jeff, you did. Ow! Okay, daddy, okay! Go answer the door! <sighs>
Hello? Hey, fat boy, I got a scooter. You got a scooter? Yeah, scooter got a scooter. And I can do a trick. Come watch me. Okay. Hey there, fat boy, scooter made a ramp. You made a ramp? Yep, the scooter's gonna go to the moon. You ain't going to the moon? Sure am, watch this. Scooter, are you okay? Scooter's okay. I went to the moon. You went to the moon? Yep. I'm gonna go to Uranus next. Oh, cool. Can I try? No. Nope. This is Scooter Scooter, not Jeffy Scooter. Go away. Oh. I wonder what's taking Jeffy so long to answer the door. I don't know. Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? Daddy, I'm glad you asked because I actually want something. Well, what do you want? Can you buy me a scooter so I can go to the moon? A scooter won't take you to the moon, Jeffy. Yes, it will, Daddy. I've seen it happen. Well, how about you wait for your birthday to get a scooter? My birthday's like forever away, Daddy. Your birthday's only like three months away. And I don't know if we'll be alive that long, you know, because of the... <coughs> That's true, Mario. Life's so unpredictable. She's right, Daddy. She's spitting straight facts. That was a TBH, not even a JK. So where's my scooter? Jeffy, what makes you think you deserve a scooter today? Um, well, I haven't pooped my pants in over 30 minutes. <gasps> That's a new record, Mario! <laughs> <sighs> yep, 31 minutes, Daddy. That's a new record. Well, you're not getting a scooter, Jeffy. Wah! Wah! Cry! Wah! Boo-hoo! Wah! Cry, cry, wah! Cry, cry, wah! Boo-hoo! Wah! Wah! Jerry, stop wah. it! Jeffy, stop it! And then half <laughs> Jeffy, can you go answer the door? I then have to- Jeffy, go answer the door! Okay! <sighs> He's so annoying, baby. Hello? Hey, fat boy, you wanna see me do another trick? Sure! Let me on your roof. Okay. Look at me. Scooter's about to go off the roof. But well, what if you get hurt, Scooter? I can't get hurt. I'm invincible. Watch me go. Whee! <laughs> Scooter, are you okay? Scooter, Scooter, are you okay? Scooter? What am I going to do? Wait a minute. If Scooter's knocked out, he's not going to notice his Scooter's missing. And then I can go to the moon. Now I'm going to go to the moon. Whee! Ow, I didn't go in the moon. I'm gonna try again. Oh, oh, oh no, the scooter, it's broken. Oh, what am I gonna tell Scooter about his scooter? Daddy! Uh, uh, man, that was fun. Scooter's gonna do that again. Hey, where'd my scooter go? Hey, fat boy, where's my scooter at? Uh! Mommy, Daddy, I need your help. What's wrong, Jeffy? Well, I can take a guess. He broke someone's scooter because he doesn't have a scooter. Bingo. Jeffy, what happened? Well, Daddy, I borrowed this kid's scooter and I broke it. Jeffy, accidents happen all the time. If you're honest with the kid, maybe he'll understand. Well, you see, here's the thing, Mommy. I borrowed it without asking. But that's called stealing, Jeffy. There's a word for it? That's it, Jeffy. We taught you not to steal. It's spanking time. Mario, <laughs> no. Oh, I see Poppy. You can't almost Poppy. <sighs> uh, uh, all right, Jeffy, I'm not going to spank you if you're going to make that noise. And that's how you get out of spanking. Mario, it's nothing that a little tape can't fix. Tape? You think tape can fix metal? Mario, that's what tape does. It sticks things back together. Tape cannot fix a broken scooter. I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. All right, Jeffy, just, just tell me, who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Uh, yes, it, it's a scooter, but who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Jeffy, I understand you stole a scooter, but who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Jeffy, stop saying that. Who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. All right, Jeffy, my name is what? Mario. And what's your name? Jeffy. And who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Jeffy, say anything but scooter. Anything but scooter. Jeffy, who did you steal the scooter from? <laughs> scooter. Jeffy. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Oh, Jeffy, okay, well, hide the scooter so he doesn't see it. All right, Daddy. Oh, no. Where's my hat? <laughs> hey, you fat boy see my scooter? Uh, your scooter? Uh, no. Are you sure? Because if I find out that fat boy took my scooter, we're going to fight. Well, Come here. No, 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 no. He didn't take your scooter, so so just leave. Okay. All right, Jeffy, this is not so bad. So, look, he already thinks we didn't do it, so let's just throw it away and he'll never see it again. Okay. Mario, I got the tape. 
Baby, I told you Tate will not fix this. Mario, I'm just trying to help. Okay, okay, fine. Look, try to put it back together with your stupid tape. Okay. All right, Mario, all done. Good as new. Looks good to me. Baby! What, Mario? That looks crappy! Look, it's all covered in tape and the wheel doesn't even move! It's not even rideable and it's all bent! Mario, I was just trying to help! Bim, 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 what are you doing? Gang, if this was a motorcycle, that's what it would sound like. Bim, 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 Hold on, Jeffy, there's someone at the door. Uh, hello? Hey then. Uh, Richard, what are you doing here? Is your dad here? No, and you don't want him to be here, because if he was here, it wouldn't be pretty. W well, what's wrong, Richard? What are you doing here? Someone stole my scooter. <laughs> Someone stole your scooter? Yeah, I left it outside, and when I came back, it was gone. And here I thought I lived in a nice neighborhood, but I don't live in a nice neighborhood. I actually live in a very poor neighborhood with people who like to steal scooters. Well, I, I can't believe somebody would steal your scooter. Well, may, maybe the person was just borrowing it. Without asking? That's called stealing. Th that is called stealing. M m maybe... Maybe, I don't know, but the scooter's not here, so I'm sorry to hear about that. I'll talk to you later. No, I'm coming inside because I'm going to ask Jeffy if he stole my scooter. Jeffy would not steal your scooter. He'd probably borrow it, but definitely not steal it, so it's just not here. Well, then I'm going to ask him for myself. Well, no, 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 you're not allowed to come inside the house. Okay, well, then I'll call my dad. I'm sure he would love to come here so he can get your house paint. Uh, no, 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 that's not necessary. Uh, look, look, look. You, you don't want me to call my dad because if I have to call my dad... That would be me interrupting a very fancy meal. He's having a pan-seared Oscar Mayer wiener with pasteurized tomato sauce and also some gray poupon. And if you don't let me in your house, I'm going to poupon your front doormat. Uh, okay, C come inside, but, but your scooter's not here. That's what I thought. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> uh, see, your scooter's not here. Hmm, what's behind the pillow? The couch. I think you should move the pillow. No, no, uh, see I have back problems and the pillow is in a very comfortable position and if we move the pillow, it just, it just won't feel the same. I really think you should move the pillow. Uh, no, the, your scooter's not here. I think I should just take a nap real quick and I'll see you later. Uh, uh, that, that's not your scooter. Really? Because it looks just like my scooter. No, it's someone else's. Oh, oh look, and you even wrapped it for me for Christmas. I didn't know I wanted that. Oh wait, I did. Because it's my scooter. No, I run a scooter repair shop, and I was just repairing someone's scooter, you see? Well, you're doing a very terrible job. Uh, thank you. Well, see, look, uh, your scooter's not here, so you can leave. Well, I'm going to call my dad, because you stole and then broke my scooter. Please don't call your dad. Uh, look, I will buy you a new scooter. Oh, you'll buy me a new one? Uh, oh, cool. That Because that scooter right there costs $30,000. Okay, scooter does not cost that much. Oh, this one did, because it was made out of pure sapphire and spaceship parts from the Apollo 13. Why would you need that? Because I can. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, look, I will. I will get you the exact same scooter. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, similar to it. No, I don't want similar. I want that one. Thirty thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Well, just stay right here, and I will go get you a brand new scooter. Okay? Just don't don't call your dad. Okay, cool. All right. Here's your new scooter. Ew, it's pink. Yeah, but it's a new scooter. I wanted a blue scooter. Well, it's 2020, and this pink scooter identifies as a blue scooter. Well, I want a blue scooter that identifies as a blue scooter, and it's actually blue because I want a blue scooter! Well, well, can't you just be grateful? No! My dad's rich, so I don't have to be grateful for something poor. I want it to be blue, like my old one! Okay, okay, I'm trying to think of where I can get you a blue scooter. Um, a blue scooter? I got an idea. Okay, uh, I, I know where to get a blue scooter. Just stay right here. All right, I'm back. Where's my blue scooter? Well, I don't have a scooter. Because if you don't have it, I'm going to tell my dad. Well, no, no, I have a scooter, but it's not a scooter, but it's scooter. Look, here's scooter. Hey, fat boy, my name's Scooter. Who is this, and why is he calling me fat? My name's Scooter, fat boy. You want to fight? Why is it trying to hit me? Well, it's a blue scooter. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Say so on my shirt. Just because it says scooter on your shirt does not make you a scooter. Yes, it does. My name is Scooter. Well, look, 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 you wanted a blue scooter. His name's Scooter, and he's wearing a blue shirt, so blue scooter. Okay, well, how am I supposed to ride it? Where are its handles? Well, it, it, its handles are right here. Ah! Do it again. Ah! Oh, cool, I want it. Come on, Scooter. Ah! Mm -mm. 
My lasagna that took eight hours of hard work to make is finally done. I can't wait to take it out of the oven. Ain't going. Block this. Mm mm mm. This smells good. What's wrong, Jeffy? Oh, nothing. Mario! Jeffy, why are you yelling? In time voices, Pee Pee. Shh. Shh, Pee Pee. Don't shh, Pee Pee me. You know what you did, Jeffy. What, what, Jeffy, what did Jeffy do? He knocked over my lasagna all over the floor. Hold on. Actually, gravity made you drop your lasagna. You kicked the ball in my face, Jeffy. That I did do, but, yes. Jeffy, you did that? Yep. Well, say you're sorry to Chef Pee Pee. I didn't. Have. Yes, you do, Jeffy. If you say you're sorry, it'll make everything better. Really? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, Chef Pee Pee. I'm still mad, Mario. Ch Chef Pee Pee, accept his apology. I'm trying to teach Jeffy manners, so I'm teaching him how to say I'm sorry, so accept his apology. He knocked over my lasagna! Oh, well, fix it. Just say, just accept his apology so he learns to say he's sorry. You know what, Jeffy? I accept your apology. I'm so happy that you knocked over my lasagna. You're welcome. <clears throat> so happy. See, Jeffy, when you say I'm sorry, it makes everything better. Okay. Ow, Jeffy! Sorry, Daddy. It doesn't work like that! My, my phone's ringing. Uh, hello? Mario, please! Uh, Black Yoshi, where are you? I'm in jail. Jail? How'd you end up in jail? Because the Popo done arrested me for going trick-or-treating. Black Yoshi, it's not Halloween. How'd they arrest you for trick-or-treating? Well, let me explain, folks. So I was walking through the neighborhood, right? And so I saw packages on people's front doorsteps, so I be took some. Black Yoshi, that's stealing people's packages. Okay, Mario, dude, what do people do on Halloween? They put candy on their front doorstep for people to take. And so I thought they were putting packages on their front doorstep for me to take. So I took some. Black Yoshi, no, that, that, just, that just means they haven't gotten their package yet, like they didn't bring it inside. Well, how am I supposed to know that, folks? I thought they just ain't want them, so they didn't bring them in, so I took some. Black Yoshi, that's stealing. Look, how much is your bail? Oh, uh, about $45,000. $45,000? Black Yoshi, what did you do? You had to do more than just stealing packages. Well, the man that was delivering the packages, he had a whole car full of packages. So I mean, that took the whole car. You stole a car? Yeah. Black Yoshi, look, I don't know if I'll be able to bail you out this time. That, that's too much money. Oh, Mario, please get the money. Call one of your rich friends or something. I can't stay in jail, folks. Oh, Black Yoshi, I'll see what I can do. The only rich friend I have is Goodman. I'll call him. Uh, uh hello? Hey, Mario, you asked me to come over? <sighs> yeah, I need a favor. Come inside. Hold on, Mario, I want to show you something. Look at that. That's a black car. Not just any black car, it's a Tesla. What's a Tesla? It's a car that drives itself, Mario. It can drive itself? Yeah, it can drive itself while I sit there and I look at my bank account to see how rich I am. I can even look at Tinder and find myself a new maid. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's my most favorite car ever. It drives itself, so I never have to drive again, Mario. It's absolutely brilliant. That, that, that's really cool. It yeah, it's my most favorite car ever. I would absolutely die if something happened to it. Well, nothing will happen to it, right? Because it can drive itself. Absolutely, Mario. There's cameras all around it, so it avoids crashes. So it'll never be wrecked. Th th that's really cool, but I, I need you to come inside because I need a favor. Okay, Mario. All right, Mario. So what favor did you need from me? Well, my friend well, really... Well, hold on right there. Hold on one second. Check that out, Mario. You know what that is? Money? Money. On my background, on my iPhone 11 Pro. Okay, well, anyway, I invited you over because my... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope you're not about to ask me for money, because then I'd be mad. Uh, well, well, well hold on, well, let, me, let me explain first. My friend uh, needs some help, and it involves you. You can solve the problem. Oh, how? How could I solve his problem? Well, you have a lot of... Uh, Don't you say it. You have a lot of intelligence? Mm-hmm, that, yeah, correct. Which has given you the opportunity in your life to make a lot of good choices mm -hmm. that have led to the 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 making of frequent large amount of money ah i knew it ow well, ow 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 well look okay look <gasps> my, my friend's in jail and, and he needs money to get bailed out why would we need to bail him out actually me why would my money be needed to bail him out well well, actually, I mean, he, I just want him out of jail because he doesn't like it in there. Does he contribute to society? Well, he plays video games a lot, and he, I mean, he's, he's arrested for stealing people's packages. That's where my package went. Well, uh, well so anyway. Huh, 
Why is Richard calling me? Decline. Wait, you're not gonna answer that? No. So back to your friend, Mario. Oh, I can't believe I had to drive all the way out to this poor neighborhood because my dad wouldn't answer his phone. Let me go see what he's doing. Where's my dad at? Hey, Richard, can I drive your Lamborghini? Sure, kid, whatever. Where's my dad? Oh, I think he's upstairs with my daddy. All right, thanks. Oh, man, I can't believe Richard's going to let me drive his Lamborghini. I'm going to get in it. All right, now how do you start this thing? Oh, is it this button? I shouldn't have had that Gatorade. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! I scratched this person's car! But I don't know whose car it is. But but my daddy said that as long as I tell him I'm sorry, they can't be mad. So I'm gonna leave him a note telling him I'm sorry. There! I'm sorry! Now he can't be mad. So if you could just give me the money to help out my friend, I promise I'll pay you back. Dad, why on earth are you not answering your phone? I see that it's right there. Richard, what are you doing here? I drove all the way out to poor town to tell you that you need to fire chives. Fire chives? Why? Because I wanted to go out on the yacht today, but he said no, because it was going to be raining or something. Now, Richard, you know that you can't go out on the yacht while it's raining because it could get choppy. Speaking of choppy, Chives also burnt my pork chop this morning, so you need to fire him. Well, Richard, we're not going to have this conversation right now. You need to go home and just deal with it. I hate you, Dad. I hate you too, son. I wish I had a new dad, but he was still rich. Richard, go home. Oh, I hate you, Dad. I want a new dad. Kids, huh, Mario? Yeah, kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate my dad. <gasps> what is that? <gasps> Son of a biscuit! So the answer is no, Mario. I'm not going to give you money so you can bail your friend out of jail. Okay. Dad, dad, dad! The weird kid with the blue helmet, he wrecked my Lamborghini. He did what? What did Jeffy do? I'm going to go check my car to see if he hit my car. Oh. 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 Son of a biscuit! Mario, come outside right now! Uh, okay. What's the problem, Goodman? Hmm. What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. You're sorry? You better be more than sorry. Sorry doesn't fix my door. No, I wasn't saying I'm sorry. I was reading I'm sorry. Oh, so you're not sorry. Well, I didn't do this. Jeffy did. Oh, okay. Well, since you're the parent, you're still going to fix this. Well, well, look, Jeffy didn't know what he was doing. I told him that as long as he told he was sorry after he did something wrong, that everything would be okay. Okay, so you didn't teach your kid not to key cars? Well, he probably didn't know how to say he was sorry for, for doing that. I don't even know what that is, Mario. Well, look, 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 look maybe it'll buff out. Ah, buff out. All right, let's try that. Mm. Oh, look at that, Mario. Not buffing out. Oh, well, okay, well, look, at least give me a chance to fix it. Oh, yeah, you will fix it, because if you don't fix it, I'm going to take everything you own. I'm going to take your house. I'm going to take your car. I'm going to take your hat. You know what, Mario? Give me the hat now. Well, no, no, give I, me the hat. You'll get this back when my door's fixed, so no more hat for you. Well, no, no, no. Oh, Jeffy! Oh, Jeffy! Why? Why did you have to wreck both their cars? Why? Daddy, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what I was doing. I was just swerving. Next thing you know, boom, hit the car. Jeffy, you have to go fix it because I can't get my hat back until you fix it. Well, Daddy, just wear your spare hat. Oh, yeah. I forgot I have more than one hat. Mm-hmm. Well, look, Jimmy, you're going to go outside and you're going to fix that car. All right, Danny, I can fix it easy peasy. Yeah, you better fix it easy peasy. All right, Jeffy, fix it. Already on it, Daddy. Well, Jeffy, that's a Sharpie. Yeah, it's like magic. Just watch this. <laughs> Jeffy, that, that looks bad. It's not working. Oh, hold on, Daddy. Almost done. I need to do a little bit of this. I'm going to get down here. Yeah. Jeffy, that looks really bad. Daddy, come back in two minutes and we'll be good. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, it's been two minutes. How's it going? It looks pee-pee. Jeffy, it does not look pee-pee. It looks colorful. It's supposed to be black. Well, Danny, I ran out of black down here, so I decided to make the I'm sorry all pretty pretty. Jeffy, it's not pretty pretty. It's not supposed to be colorful. Goodman's not going to accept this. Well, Danny, a colorful I'm sorry is better than a not colorful I'm sorry. And a black car looks better with, with black doors and not colorful I'm sorry key to the side of it, Jeffy. Well, Danny, I ran out of black. Uh, okay, Goodman is not going to accept this. He, he cannot see this. Look, let's go inside and try to think of another way to fix this. Come on. All right, man. All right, Jeffy. We have to find a way to fix Goodman's car. Hey, Mario, did you fix my car yet? I mean, well, I mean, kind of. Not really.
Uh, well, Wait, hold on, Mario. How'd you get your hat back? Give me that. Well, that's my second hat. Not anymore. It's my second hat. Well, look, why don't we just go through car insurance? You have that? I thought you were too poor. What? No, I have car insurance. All right, well, let's just do that then, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah. You're still not getting your hat back. It's my hat. Well, what about the money for my friend? Uh, okay, well, I mean, at least we got that problem fixed. Uh, uh, hello? Did you forget about me? <sighs> no, Black Ocean, I didn't forget about you, but I don't think I can bail you out of jail. Why didn't he just say sorry, Daddy? So, Joseph, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. Oh, I just want to eat a bunch of candy. Ooh, what kind of candy do you want? Um, how about Reese's? Ooh, I love Reese's. <laughs> I think I have some right here. <laughs> Wait, why is it white, though? What are you talking about? It's white Reese's. It's usually brown. That's Reese's. Well, th that's not Reese's. It's just Reese's. Look, it, it doesn't matter what color it is. It still tastes good. I don't know. They made it white, and they put it in a big package. Well, look, Joseph, you know anything that's white isn't big. Uh, that is true. <laughs> yeah, so it's not Reese's, it's just Reese's. So let's just eat it, okay? Okay. Let's someone out the door. Here, you open them up and I'll, I'll go into the door. All right. Uh, hello? Hey, fat boy, my name's Scooter. I know who you are. It's my birthday. Oh, it's your birthday? Well, happy birthday! Well, let's throw me a party. Let's throw you a party? Uh, okay, yeah, sure, come inside. Hey, Joseph, guess what? What, you got the brown Reese's? What? No, it's Scooter's birthday. Hey, fat boy, it's my birthday. And I was thinking we could throw him a party, and we could throw him a party at Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa, dude, that would be epic. I love Chuck E. Cheese. I know everybody loves Chuck E. Cheese, so hold on, don't get too excited. I have to turn on the news so something inconvenient can happen. Oh, okay. Breaking news, okay? Chuck E. Cheese has gone bankrupt. After 43 years, Charles Entertainment Cheese has blown his fortune away. Sucks for them. Oh my god, they're bankrupt? Dude, how could this happen? I don't know what that means. Oh, it means that they're bankrupt. Like a volcano? Oh, no, not erupt, like bankrupt. The bank gonna blow up? What? No. The money's gonna be flying everywhere. Cha ching. Well, no, no. It means that the Chuck E. Cheese ran out of money. Joseph, how could that happen? I don't know, dude. Maybe Chuck E. spent all his money on cheese. Oh, addiction is a disease. <laughs> Rats love their cheese. I know. First, Toys R Us went out of business. Now, Chuck E. Cheese is gonna go out of business. Like, the whole world's gonna have nothing fun to do. Like, we have to start hanging out at Walmart. <gasps> I like Walmart. Well, uh, Joseph, we have to find a way to give Chuck E. Cheese a bunch of money. Well, dude, how are we gonna do that? I know just the person who has a bunch of money. Who? Chef Pee Pee. Dude, isn't he poor? No, he just acts like that because he's so humble. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna go ask him for money. Oh, okay, dude. Mm, mm, mm. My broccoli cheese and mustard soup smells delicious. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. What do you want, Junior? I have a question for you. Ask your stupid question. How many zeros do you have in your bank account? Only three. I know it's disappointing. Well, that's not that bad. Is it 1,000 or 9,000? No, only three, Junior. Like zero dot zero zero. Well, that would be nothing. Yeah, exactly, nothing. Bingo, I'm broke. Well, I thought you were loaded. Like a baked potato. No, I'm not loaded like a... Wait, wait, who is that? My name's Scooter. That's Scooter. And today's his birthday, and we want to have his birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. Well, why don't you just go to Chuck E. Cheese? Well, they're going bankrupt. Well, whose problem is that? Well, now it's your problem. Wait, what? Why is it my problem? Because I know you have a billion dollars, and I know that you're going to buy Chuck E. Cheese and help him stop being bankrupt. Junior, I don't have a billion dollars, and even if I did, why would I give it to Chuck E. Cheese? Okay, so you do have a billion dollars, you're just not willing to help Chuck E. Cheese. Junior, I don't have a billion dollars, and even if I did, I wouldn't give it to a rat. See, you're saying that you do have a billion dollars, you're just not willing to help the cause. I hear you loud and clear, Chef Pee-Pee. Junior, I don't have a... I'm broke! Just don't listen. Uh. Oh, hey, dude. Did Chef Pee-Pee give you the money? No, he wants to keep his billions to himself. Uh, selfish people. How greedy. I know, Chef Pee-Pee's so greedy. I just wanted Scooter to have his birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. What's Chuck E. Cheese? Where they chuck cheese at people? Alley. Well, no, they don't throw cheese at people. It's a really cool place with video games and pizza and prizes. I want to go. I, I know you want to go. I want to have your birthday party there, but it's going out of business. They don't have any money. They need to get a job. <sighs> Joseph, we need to find a billionaire who can buy Chuck E. Cheese. But, dude, we don't know any billionaires. I got to go to the bathroom. We don't know any billionaires, dude. All done. Scooter, you should go change yourself in the bathroom. Yeah. All right, so look, how about we invite Richard? Oh, yeah, Richard! Richard's rich! I know Richard has money, so we can invite him to Chuck E. Cheese, he can buy Chuck E. Cheese for us, and we can have a birthday party there! Oh, yeah, dude, let's do that! All right, I'm gonna call him. So what do you poor kids want? Your money. What, Joseph, don't be so obvious. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. So, Richard, have you ever been to Chuck E. Cheese? No, I go to Dave & Buster's like an adult. Oh, well, Chuck E. Cheese is a really cool place. They, they have an arcade and pizza. Like, like, have you ever been to an arcade? Of course I've been to an arcade. I have an arcade in my mansion. Well, can we come to your mansion then? 
Ew, the fact that you would even think I would let your poorness inside my mansion to play in my arcade is absolutely appalling. It's disgusting. You need to go away. Shoot. No, I'm not going anywhere. How about I'll pay you to go away? <laughs> okay then. All right, here, take this heads up penny I found. Wait, that's a $20 bill. Oh, that's a 20. I don't care what it is. If it's not a hundred, it doesn't belong in my wallet. Now take this penny and shoe. Okay, I'll leave with a 20. I've done worse for a 20. That's my uncle. <laughs> Well, Richard, look, what we want you to do is, we're just wondering, because we know you have billions of dollars, can you please buy Chuck E. Cheese, because they're bankrupt. Hmm. I don't want a Chuck E. Cheese, because I have an arcade in my house. Well, no, no, if you buy a Chuck E. Cheese, though, your name would be in lights everywhere. Everyone would be going to Richard E. Cheese's, and everyone would know who you are, and everybody would want to be your friend. Hmm. Well, I do need friends. That's actually a good idea, Junior. L let me go ask my dad. Okay. Well, this might work. Oh! Sigh! What's wrong, Richard? That was a really big sigh. Did you buy Chuck E. Cheese? No. Why not? Because my dad. What about your dad? He's stupid. Why is he stupid? Because he wouldn't let me buy Chuck E. Cheese. Well, why not? Well, I told him the idea, and he loved the idea. Well, that's good, so we can buy it. No, he loved it so much that he decided to buy it for himself. So instead of naming it Richard E. Cheeses, he's going to name it Goodman E. Cheeses. Well, that's still good for me. I can stop my party there. But it's not good for me. Watch a stupid commercial. Welcome to Goodman E. Cheeses, where we've got pizza with 24 karat gold flakes and a filet mignon buffet. Our games also give out $100 bills. So come on down to Goodman E. Cheeses, where a kid can be a billionaire. Ugh, look at his ugly face. And listen to that stupid voice. I hope I don't look or sound like him when I get older. Do I look like him? Uh, not at all. Do I sound like him? Nope, nope, you don't look or sound like him. I think you were separated at birth. Good, that's exactly what I thought. I, I was hoping for that, actually. Yeah, you're definitely not his kid. Ugh. Well, anyway, enjoy your little poor party that you got. Ugh. I gotta go get Scooter for his birthday! <laughs> hey, Scooter, I got a surprise for you. Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? I sound like Mickey Mouse. Well, I got a surprise for you to come with me. All right, Scooter, I got a surprise for you. Hold on, let me cover my hat. Well, you don't have to cover your eyes for the surprise. Pick a boo. All right, so I got you a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. Pick a boo. Well, it's not really Chuck E. Cheese. My friend bought it, so it's called Goodman E. Cheese. Pick a boo. I get it, pick a boo. But anyway, we got you a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. Pick a boo. I get it. You don't have to do the pick a boo anymore. I understand. Pick a boo. Pick a boo. Look, look, look. Come with me, and we're going to have your birthday party, okay? Okay. All right, Scooter, are you ready to have your birthday at Goodman E. Cheeses? It's Scooter's birthday. Yeah. Welcome to Goodman E. Cheeses. Uh, how much is it to have a birthday party here? $1,000 an hour. $1,000 an hour? It's not going to be that expensive. Well, when the machines print out $100 bills instead of tickets, I have to charge that much. Uh, well, we don't have that much money. Then you get out of my Goodman E. Cheeses. Uh, uh, can we at least play the games for fun? No. Get out. Oh, come on, Scooter. All right, Scooter, they kicked us out, but we're going to sneak into this back door right here. Just be as quiet as a mouse. What sound does a mouse make? No sounds at all. But how do they talk? They don't talk. Okay. Well, let's just sneak in. Shh. All right, Scooter, this is called ski ball. But where's my ski? Well, you, don't, you don't actually ski. You, you roll the ball. Okay. What? No, 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 you roll it. Okay, give me a chance. There we go, fat boy. 50 points, I win. Yeah, you did it. All right, uh, my turn. How did you guys get back in here? Uh -oh, Scooter, run! Get out! Get out of my store unless you're willing to pay a $1,000 an hour. But that's a lot of money. I don't care. Get out. Oh. All right, we're going to sneak back in and play a few more games, okay? Sounds good to me. All right, Scooter, hurry up and make a shot. Go, babe. Nothing but net. How do you guys keep getting in here? Uh, hurry up and make another shot. No, not my house. Uh, run! Get out. He has not caught on that we're sneaking into this door. Let's keep going in. All right, Scooter, the way you play this game is you have to hit it as hard as you can. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah, we not me that. Okay, fat boy, here I go. I'm Superman. You were supposed to make it to the top. But I got two points. How? How do you guys keep getting back in here? Uh -oh. Get out! Run, run, Scooter! Back tomorrow. Okay, we're going to sneak in one more time. Okie dokie. How do we play this game? All uh, right, so you press this button, and the balls drop. You have to try to make them in the bucket. Scooter's been waiting his whole life for his ball to drop. Well, no, 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 no. You're supposed to get them in the bucket. You're not supposed to just press it randomly. You're supposed to get it in the bucket. You're... I win! Well, 
Well, well no, you, you... How do you guys keep getting in my store? Run! Right. My ball game? Get out! If I catch you guys in my store one more time, I'm gonna call the cops. And I'm gonna put a big picture of you guys' face right here. And you guys are not allowed in. Or else you're gonna go to jail forever. Okay. All right, we're gonna sneak in one more time and have your cake. Yay, cake time! Let's Yummy. go. All right, Scooter, we don't have much time. I'm gonna sing you happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Scooter. That's me. Happy birthday to you. All right, blow out the candles. How did you guys get a cake in here? Oh, blow out the candles, go. No, no, no. Don't you blow out these candles in my own store. <laughs> well, Scooter, did you have a good birthday? Yeah, better than yesterday's birthday. What, your birthday was yesterday? Yeah, every day's my birthday. Well, well, I thought your birthday was today. Yeah, and tomorrow. What, okay, when's your birthday? Every year. I know you have a birthday every year, but like what day? Every day. You can't have a birthday every day. Yes, I can. Every day is my birthday. Well, when were you born? Every year. Oh, what day every year? Today. So when's your birthday? Tomorrow. To but what about today? Yesterday. Okay, when's your birthday? Today. Okay, so today's your birthday. Yeah. All right, so we got that clear. Today's your birthday. Yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow on my birthday, fat boy. What? Your birthday's not tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> Careful, careful dude, careful, uh, careful dude, careful, careful dude, careful! Shut up Joseph! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I got it! Oh dude, that was so close! I'm so glad we're playing Jenga! Yeah, money Jenga! Alright Richard, it's your turn! Mm, which piece do I want to go for? Oh, this one! Uh, okay, careful, uh, uh, careful, uh, uh, careful! Uh, careful oh, oh, you lost! Yeah, you lost! Actually, it looks like I'm winning! Alright guys, so what game do you want to play now? How about hide and seek? Oh, oh let's play hide and seek! Yeah, I'm really good at hide and seek! Okay, okay, I'll be it! Alright, Joseph, you and Richard hide, okay? Oh, okay then! I'm gonna count to ten. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ready or not, here I come! Oh, where are they at? Alright guys, I'm gonna find you! Just, where are you at? <laughs> Are you behind the teddy bear? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you inside that popcorn bucket? <sighs> no. <laughs> Joseph, you're there. Oh, dude, how did you find me? You wouldn't stop laughing. Oh, darn. I need to shut my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Now I gotta find Richard. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Richard? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Cha ching Oh, I'm allergic to your poor air! Well, I got you, Richard. All right, Joseph, it's your turn! Oh man! Okay, dude. Well, who's that? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me see who it is. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey there! I'm here to pick up my son, Richard. Okay. Richard, your dad's here! Oh, thank God! Thanks for picking me up, Dad. It's so poor here! My allergies were acting up. Oh, and by the way, Junior, I accidentally clogged your toilet. Sorry. But you clogged my toilet? Wait, you clogged this toilet? Yeah, I accidentally used too much money when I was wiping. Too much money when you were wiping? You know you're only supposed to use one bill at a time? Show me! Alright, right this way. See, Dad? There it is. That is it, mister! You are grounded! Grounded? For what? You know you're only supposed to use one bill when you wipe, and you're wiping like we have endless amounts of money! Which we do, but you need to learn the value of money, so I think you need to get a job! A job? You poor! Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you a job, and I think you need to work at McDonald's! McDonald's? Ew! Poor people food! Now you get over here and let me smack those stupid AirPods out of your stupid head. Come here. Come on. Give me the other side. Come on. All right. You'll get those AirPods back when you've earned them. Now let's go to McDonald's. Welcome to your first day at McDonald's. How you feeling? Poor. Exactly. That's how we all feel until we start making $15 an hour. Then we'd be lower middle class. Well, how much am I making now? $8.45 an hour. $845 an hour? That's not too bad. No, 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 my silly white boy. $8.45. Ew, poor. Exactly. Let me show you the food layout. See, we got hamburgers right here, nuggets there, french fries, lettuce, and tomatoes. See, all this stuff was already made yesterday, okay? We just leave it out to give it flavor. And this stuff right here is the stuff people return. See, we just keep passing out the window till somebody accepts it. Now let me show you how to make a burger. On a traditional burger, you got meat, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. See, I know that's a lot, but I got a song to help you remember. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 it's very catchy. Come on, sing it with me. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. 
I'm not singing that poor song. Do you want to get paid? <sighs> yeah. Come on, sing it with me. First, First you add the meat, meat then, then you add the cheese. cheese. Don't, Don't forget, forget the lettuce, lettuce. then you add tomatoes. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Yeah. Mustard, mayonnaise. White boy got real good. Ketchup, mustard. Somebody at the drive-thru. Okay, get ready to make a sandwich and don't forget the song, all right? All right. Oh, uh, hello. I'm ready to order. <sighs> Another one. Hey, hey, don't be throwing bananas in my drive-thru. Uh, I'm ready to order. What you want? Uh, can I get, uh... Drop fresh, a large fry with no salt, also drop fresh with salt packets in the bag, a plain cheeseburger, and an ice cream cone. Ah, uh, ice cream machine, bro. Mm hmm, of course it is. Well, then in that case, I'll just take Kool Aid to drink. Man, we don't sell Kool Aid, we only got high C. Oh, I can see that you high, because your ice cream machine always broke. Look, is that all you want, ma'am? Yeah. All right, your total is 1738 All right, you accept EBT? No. You accept Food Styles? No. Hmm. Can I get your discount? Look, it's my, it's my discount, ma'am. Look, look, can you please pull up for it so I we can get your food? I ain't pulling up for it. There ain't nobody behind me. Oh, my God. Look, look, I'll have your food in a minute, ma'am. And they want $15 an hour. Yeah, you slam that window. All right, Rashad, what we have... My name's Richard. Listen, Rashad, I'm trying to teach you something. Look, what we have here is what we call a bad customer. You can tell from a mile away. It's a dead giveaway. You can tell by the... By the color, the color of their car. Their car? Yeah, yeah, she was driving a red car. People who drive red cars are always mad. Something about the color red. But uh, do you know what we do to bad customers? What? <laughs> Ew, poor! Uh, yeah, exactly. Now she wanted a burger and some nuggets and fries dropped. So can you drop them on the ground and take 10 minutes doing it? She also wanted an ice cream cone, but uh, we always tell the customers that the ice cream machine is broken. To be honest with you, we don't even have an ice cream machine. I don't even know why it's on the menu. But uh, get to making her food, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. What do I do again? Oh, oh yeah, the song. Uh, something about the meat. Then you grab some nuggets. How about some fries? Don't forget the tomatoes. Uh, ketchup, 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 ketchup. All right, I'm done. Let me see how you did. Boy, what, what is this? It's a cheeseburger. The song, boy, the song. I sing the song. You got a lot to learn. Let me just wrap this up and give it to her. Okay. What take you so long? Hey, what I told you about throwing bananas in my drive through Look, look, here's your food, ma'am. My food hit the ground. I'm going to need you to make me some more. Look, I'm not making another burger for you, lady. Well, I also had nuggets and fries. Look, just have a good day, okay? Let me speak to your manager. I am the manager. All right, then. Well, let me speak to the owner. Look, if you want to talk to the owner, how about you call old McDonald himself? He live on the farm. E-I-E-I-O. Well, I'll do you one better. I'll call Mayor McCheese. Well, call Mayor McCheese, then. All right, this ain't the last you heard of me, and they want $15 out. Get out of my drive through lady. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, and I'm going to take my uncle down the two. <sighs> All right, Randy. I want you to work the drive through because I am scratched. How do I do that? Oh, it's super simple. They're going to pull up to the window. You say what real mean because it's inconvenient for you to take their order even though you work here. Now, they're going to give you their order. You make sure you get it wrong because we want them to come back. They're going to say they're not going to come back, but we're McDonald's. We got dollar burgers and we're open 24 7. So, uh, go to the window and get to working. My name is Richard. Come on, Randy. Just go to the window. <sighs> okay. God. All right, work in the drive-thru. At least I don't have to touch that poor people food. Can I have some food? Ew, did you sneeze on the window? I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Well, do you have money? No. Well, then what are you going to give me for food? Tomato. Ew, I don't want your poor tomato. We don't accept tomatoes here. I'm, I'm hungry. Well, shoot, get out of here. Shoot. Ew, poor. Ugh. Raymond, did I just see you spray Windex at one of our customers? Yeah, because he was poor. <sighs> Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Look, all of our customers are poor. You just can't spray them with Windex, though. How about we have the perfect conversation you're supposed to have at the window? You be the driver, I'll be me. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. In my Lamborghini. Whatever. <sighs> what do you want? Why aren't you at Burger King? Why are you ordering here? Can I get a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger? <sighs> Windex is right down the street. All right, just pull up to the next window. 
See, it's that simple. See, now you don't have to spray people with Windex, okay? Yeah. Let's forget my order wrong. And you want fifteen dollars? Yeah. You know what? Go, go and handle the burgers. I got this. Did you just throw something at me? Uh huh. I bought a tomato from a homeless man because I ran out of bananas. What do you want from me, lady? I just want my order right because my booger had nuggets and fries on it. Ain't that what you wanted? No, I wanted it all separately. You know what? Look, here's your tomato back. All right, scram, lady. Oh, and you want fifteen dollars? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <sighs> All right, Ryan. I don't know how much longer I can work here. Me either. Look, I'm dreaming of bigger and better things. Right? Like working at Chick-fil-A. But see, the customers here, it's so annoying. And poor. That too. <sighs> oh, another one. <sighs> what do you want? And can you please stop honking your horn? Hey, I stole my dad's car because he wouldn't bring me to get a Happy Meal. Cool, cool, cool. What do you want? Uh, can I get a cheeseburger Happy Meal with three toys? Uh, the Happy Meal only come with one toy. Well, I want three toys. You only getting one toy. How about three toys? It comes with one toy. Three toys! One toy! Three toys! Okay! Okay! All right, Robbie, we got another bad customer at the drive-thru. You know how I knew? Because the color of the car? Exactly. The color of the car was red, so you know he's going to be mean. And he wanted a Happy Meal with three toys. Look, this ain't Toys R Us. I'm not giving him all them toys. You know what we're going to do to his food? We're going to spit in the food? Bingo. You learn it, Robbie. Okay, so uh, fix the food and remember the song, okay? Okay. All right, the song. Uh, sometimes there's meat, bunch of bunch of cheese, lot of lot of lettuce, uh, a couple chicken nuggets, maybe a few tomatoes, um, ketchup, 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 and maybe the whole thing. Uh, mustard, 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 mustard. Uh, okay, that looks good. All right, it's ready. Let me check the Happy Meal and see how you did. Wait, Rachel, you're not supposed to give them all the ketchup and mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, let me get them a drink. Yeah. Where's my Happy Meal? Oh, here's your Happy Meal with the three toys. Oh, thank you. You're not welcome. Baby. Oh. All right, Rufus. I'm going to end your shift early today since it's your first day. What does that mean? That means you get to go home. Oh, thank God. Charge, come pick me up in the helicopter. All right, I'm going to get your check, and then you can go home, okay? How much money did I make? Well, you only worked for like 10 minutes, so uh, you made about 75 cents. Ew, poor. <laughs> welcome to the club. Oh, Dad, I'm back from work. Wait a minute. Ew, you smell poor. I know, but I got paid. Hold on, let me see that. 75 cents. Congratulations, you've made enough money to buy three gumballs. Oh, Dad, I have a confession to make. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to work at poor restaurants anymore. And, and I'll even wipe my butt with 20s. Listen, son, you don't have to wipe your butt with 20s. That would be a disgrace to the Goodman name. We only wipe our butts with hundreds. But the fact that you said that you would wipe your butt with 20s shows that you appreciate money now. So let's go home and get out of this weird poor person's house. Oh, thank you, Dad. I love you so much. I love you too, son. Let's go. All right, Joseph, are you ready to watch TV? Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, which one of you poor kids wants to make 20 bucks and help me look for something? Oh, me, dude. Me, me, me. I need it. I'm so poor. I don't have a penny to my name. Yeah, Joseph's really poor. Okay, well, then he can help me. Yes. Wait, what are you looking for? My AirPods. I've lost them in the street outside. Why don't you just buy some new ones? Because my stupid, dumb, greedy dad grounded me, and now he's only giving me $1,000 a day for my allowance. And I used to get $50,000 a day, but he grounded me because he caught me peeing in the water fountain outside our mansion. And I was like, well, if the statue can do it, why can't I do it? And he grounded me, and now I only get $1,000 a day, and I've already spent my $1,000. Well, why don't you just wait for tomorrow to get your other $1,000? Ew, waiting is for poor people. Ew, poor. Yeah, I guess that is kind of poor. All right, Joseph, go help him look. Okay, yeah. dude. Come on, Joey. Wait, wait, my name's Joseph. Ew, it's whatever I tell you your name is. Okay. Oh, where are my AirPods at? Hey, Joey, have you seen my AirPods? Uh, no, I don't see them, dude. Well, keep looking. Okay. Oh, where are my AirPods? I know I'm driving, but I need to check my stocks. Oh, 
Apple's made me $10 million today? Ew, poor! Richard, look out, there's a car! Oh, oh, Joseph, you you saved my life. Wait, really? How will I ever repay you? Uh, money. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, Joseph? Oh, nothing much. I just saved Richard's life. I'm a hero. He sure is. How will I ever repay you? Oh, you know what I want. I want money. I'm talking fat stacks of cash. Guapo. I need that bag. I'm trying to run it up like an ATM on payday. Well, I don't have any money. At least not until tomorrow. What the? Tomorrow? Oh, wow. I guess I shouldn't have saved your life then, dude. Oh, it's not like you were in the middle of the road not paying attention to that car when it was coming. Well, the only thing I have are my AirPods. You can have those. Ew, AirPods? What is that worth? $200? Oh, I should have saved Jeff Bezos' life. He probably would have gave me an Amazon truck or something. Uh, I guess I'll just try it on and see if they work. Wow, I can't even hear the music. These AirPods suck. You don't even have any ears. Well, I have eyes. I can see that car before was about to flatten you like a pancake. Do you remember that, Richard? Yeah. Yes, that's what I thought. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, grapes. I want grapes. Feed me grapes, Richard. Grapes? Yes, grapes, Richard. Did I sh sh stutter? Well, you did just then. It was for the joke, Richard. I wanted you to know what a stutter was. Okay, I'll go see if I can find some grapes. Thank you, idiot. Well, Joseph, you're being really mean. Well, I could have been way meaner and not saved his life. Look, you know what? I'm actually being pretty nice. Okay. All right. Here's your grapes. Wow, Richard. Are you stupid, dumb, or stupid? Those are not grapes. Those are obviously blue tomatoes. But those are blueberries. Those are blue tomatoes. I'm sorry. I just don't know the difference. Oh, like how you didn't know the difference between the sidewalk and the road when that car was about to steamroll over you? Yeah, I saved your life, Richard. Remember that? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'll try to do better next time. Oh, yeah. You better do better. Well, what else can I get for you? Hmm, how about some uh, sombrero and uh, some roller skates? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why are you asking why? Did I ask why you were in the middle of the road, Richard, when I saved your life? Huh? Huh? No. That's what I thought. Now get my sombrero and roller skates. Yes, sir. Wee! Wee! I'm having fun, Richard. Wee! I'm rolling, kind of like that car would have rolled over you if I wouldn't have saved your life. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Wee! <laughs> Have I paid back my debts? Uh, no. Record scratch. You thought you were going to pay back your debt by getting me roller skates, a sombrero, AirPods, and some blue tomatoes? Oh, come on. Respect yourself, Richard. Is your life worth that? No. Exactly. Now go and put on a dress and uh, give me a Burger King crown. I want to feel like a king. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you happy now, Joseph? I'm the king of tacos. Wait, don't call me Joseph anymore. That was my poor name. Call me Joseph Christ since I almost died for the stupid decisions you made. Okay, Joseph Christ. Nah, call me God since I'm the reason you're living. I gave you life. Well, at this point, I would have almost rather the car just hit me. I mean, you can go back in the road. I will be there to save your life. I am Joseph Christ. Well, I thought you were God. I can be whatever I want to be. You know what? I want to be a pharaoh. Go and make me a pyramid. Well, how about I just go get cash out of my dad's safe? Even better. All right, well, how much cash do you want? Uh, I don't know. Uh, can you put a price on your life? Think about that when you're getting the cash. Hmm. Okay. Joseph, you need to calm down. Calm down? Uh, the driver didn't calm down when he had his foot on the pedal. You're right. Hmm. What is the code to my dad's safe? Oh, yeah, it's money. 66639. Hmm. I'm only going to take $5,000. He won't notice $5,000. Here you go, Joseph. Here's your $5,000. Oh, man, $5,000? This is a lot of money. I could buy anything I want. Wait, wait, where's your dress? I thought I didn't have to wear it anymore since I paid you $5,000. Well, I thought the driver would have saw you in the middle of the road just standing there. But no, I had to save your life. Oh, Joseph, Joseph, look, calm down. Look, you got a bunch of money, a lot of cool stuff. Look, just leave Richard alone. He paid you back, okay? I guess. Let's go, let's go spend your money. Let's go put it in the bank. Well, put it in the bank? No, I'm about to blow all of this. Oh, then let's go. Look, leave Richard alone. Okay. All right. It's time for me to go count the money in my decoy safe. My real safe is underneath the house, in my bunker. It has billions of dollars. My decoy safe only has $5,000. <gasps> my safe! Someone broke into my safe! <gasps> and they stole my $5,000?! You gotta be kidding me! I'm gonna call the police! And when they find out who stole my money, I'm gonna make sure they get a license! They are so done! Ah! 
Did somebody call Officer Top? And Bottom. Hey! Hey! Someone stole $5,000 from my safe! Oh no! Looks like somebody broke in the safe and left it wide open. Out wide open earlier. Uh, oh, now you're just begging. I don't have to beg. Hey! Can you guys please stop and figure out who took the money from my safe? Like that, don't we came in your back door. I came in the back door earlier. Hey! hey. Guys, there was $5,000 in the safe and now it's not there and I need you to find it. Let's start looking for some hard evidence. Mm. Mm. Ding, ding, ding. I found some hair. That ain't my hair. I'm all flicked up, shaved down. You know I like my runway clear. Ready for takeoff. Toot, toot. Yeah. Guys, focus. There was $5,000 in the safe. Now it's not there. Someone stole it, and I need you to figure out who did it. Oh, looks like there's some handprints on this shaft. Looks like we got something in common. Hey. hey. All right, we're going to take this evidence, and we're going to go try to find out who did it. Hi there, young fella. We're doing an investigation. We're gonna give you a cavity search. We're gonna search you top and bottom and inside and out. Hey! An investigation? For what? Someone done stole a bunch of your daddy's money. Wait, who's his daddy? I know who my daddy is. Ah! Hey! I didn't steal any money. Well, we found some hair. Not from down there. It looks like it came from the top of your head. Which head? The one we can see. Hey! I wasn't even at my dad's house. You don't have any proof. Well, we found some handprints. And not where we like them. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Ah! Looks like we have some new handprints. Add that to the collection. Hey! Oh, okay, fine. I did it. Is that what you wanted me to say? Looks like we finally broke them down. Want me to break you down later? Mm. Hey! hey. All right, I'll grab the handcuffs. And we didn't even have to take him to dinner. Mr. Goo Man! You mean Mr. Goodman? I'm Mr. Goo Man. Yes, you are. Hey! Did you guys figure out who stole my money? Yes, we did. Hey, come in here, little Richard. You don't have a little Richard. Hey! <gasps> Richard, I can't believe with my own two eyes that my own son would steal from me. I'm sorry, Dad. I just had to pay someone. Was a thousand dollars a day not good enough for you? I miss my fifty thousand dollars a day. Well, all you had to do was wait three more days, and you would have been ungrounded. Can't believe you. Now you're gonna go down to five hundred dollars a day. <gasps> five hundred dollars a day? Ew! Poor! I don't want to hear it, Mister. Now you get to your arcade and you think about what you did. <sighs> okay, Dad. Well, thank you guys for solving the case. This case is closed. We're gonna go up in another one. Hey! Oh, I don't know what arcade game to play. Oh, I guess I'll just learn to be patient and wait for my money every day. Alright, class, this week we're going to be doing a school fundraiser because the school is poor and can't afford my salary. So, you're going to go around and sell candy bars to help pay my bills. What do we get out of it? Yeah! Ha ha! I'm glad you asked, Junior. How many candy bars you sell determines what type of prize you get. See, if you sell five candy bars, you get this crappy shrinky that'll break in five minutes. That sucks. Dude, how can you steal that from the dollar store? Yeah, nobody plays with slinkies. If you sell 20 candy bars, then you get this crappy harmonica that barely works. See? <laughs> okay, that's kind of sick. Dude, I'd be the perfect homeless man if I had a harmonica. Yeah, I'm already good at blowing. And if you sell 100 candy bars, now this is really crappy. If you sell 100 candy bars, then you get this crappy little army guy who can parachute. So when you throw it, it's supposed to parachute down, but I don't think it works because it's so crappy. But watch. Oh, 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 I need that, I need that. I can throw it off my stairs. Junior, it's crappy. And if you sell 500 candy bars, then you get this gooey little hand thing that sticks to stuff. See, watch. That's so cool, I want a sticky hand. Oh yeah, dude, I want to slap the mess out of somebody. I've already got sticky hands. And if you sell 1,000 candy bars, you get a bouncy ball. Just a bouncy ball? How many bouncy balls? You get one bouncy ball. Not two, not three, not four, but one bouncy ball. What a ripper. Well, hold on, Cody. Maybe it's a super bouncy ball that can bounce to space. I highly doubt that, Junior. And if you sell 5,000 candy bars, you get these crappy handcuffs. Okay, I need that. My last pair broke. And if you sell 10,000 candy bars, then you'll get these little annoying magnets that when you toss them in the air, they make the most annoying sound you've ever heard. Now listen. 
Whoa, those magnets are so cool. Yeah, I want those because I want to annoy my daddy with them. And if you sell 25,000 candy balls, then you get these off-brand Nerf guns because I was too cheap to buy the real ones. Oh, Joseph, we have to get those. We can have an off-brand Nerf war. Oh, dude, we have to get those. Shinny, you already have Nerf guns at your house. Well, but, but these are off-brand. Yeah, you can never have too many. And crass, the grand prize if you sell 50,000 candy balls is a PlayStation 5 that my kids made in shop. <gasps> a, 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 a PlayStation 5! We have to get it! We have to get it, Joseph. We have to get it. We have to get it. Yes! Guys, it's 50,000 candy bars. It's doable. We can get it. We it's can get it. We, we can get it. So get to selling the candy bars. And remember, they're a dollar apiece. Come on, guys. Let's get to selling. Okay, dude. All right, guys. Let's start selling these candy bars so I can get a PlayStation 5. In the sticky hand. Junior, you do realize you'd have to sell 50,000 candy bars. Yeah. That's $50,000. Easy work. No, no, Junior, not easy work. How do you plan on selling 50,000 candy bars? Cody, it's easy. Look, we have these boxes, and each box has 52 candy bars in it. So we just have to sell the boxes. Junior, you'd have to sell 962 boxes. Yeah, so we just go up to 962 people and each sell them a box. But Junior, you don't know 962 people. You don't know that, Cody. I have a bunch of friends. I know 900. People. I know you, and I know Joseph, yep. and I know Chef PP. Junior, that's three people. Well, well, Cody, you're being negative. You know Jeff Bezos started Amazon in his garage. Mm-hmm. Look at him now. What does that have to do with candy bars? He's a billionaire, Cody. Yeah, he's super successful, dude. Yeah, he started his own company by, in, in his garage. So, so the, the main point is believe in yourself. Like, I believe we can sell these candy bars. Well, I don't. Well... Well, you're ugly. So look, 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 here's my plan. Look, we're gonna start off by selling to Chef Pee Pee. I'm gonna try to sell him my box, and then you're gonna try to sell him your box, and then you're gonna try to sell him your box. Oh, okay, dude. Yeah, and he's gonna buy all three boxes, because that's only a hundred and... hundred and fifty-six. hundred and fifty-six $156. That's all that is. I did the math in my head. So, um, let's, let's go try to sell these to Chef Pee Pee, okay? Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know what that is. All right, Cody, there's Chef Pee Pee. I'm about to sell all these candy bars. Watch and learn. Hey, Chef BB! It's Junior, what do you want? Are you hungry? Uh, yeah, that's why I'm cooking. But well, what if I said you didn't have to cook? What if I said you could eat right now? Wait, did you order Uber Eats? No, even better. I got candy bars. Junior, I don't want candy bars for dinner. That's why I'm cooking this. Well, well what if you had them for dessert? I don't want dessert. Well, well, what if I said if you bought this whole box of candy, I'd be one step closer to getting a PlayStation 5? Well, wait, don't tell me this is one of those stupid school fundraising schemes. It is. Wait, Junior, it's not even worth it. It's a big scam. You have to sell so much, and the prices aren't even worth it. It's small prices. Well, I'm getting a PlayStation 5, I sell $50,000 worth, and look, look, all I need you to do is buy 52 candy bars. It's only $52. Junior, I don't have $52, and I'm not about to give it to you for candy, even if I had it. So can you buy the box, yes or no? No! All right, Cody, you try. With me? He said he didn't even have $52. Well, Cody, you try. He might say yes to you. Okay, fine. Uh, hey, Chef PB. Oh, what do you want, Cody? You want to buy this whole box of candy? No! Didn't you just hear what I told Junior? I did. Okay, so why would you ask the same thing? I, uh, I don't know. What'd he say? He said no. What? He said no. He didn't say no to you. Well, yes, he did. Well, are you kidding me? Chef Pee you said no to Cody too? Yes, I said no to Cody and I said no to you! I don't want any candy! Wow, Chef Pee there's starving kids in other countries that would love to eat a PlayStation 5. But, what? but you said no. Chef Pee Pee, that doesn't make sense! Oh my god. Uh, so what did Chef Pee Pee say? He said no, so you should go try. Okay, dude. Well, no, Junior. Why? Because Chef Pee didn't buy from us, so he's not gonna buy from Joseph either. How do you know? Because he already told us no, so he's gonna tell Joseph no too. Can you tell the future, Cody? What? How do you know he's gonna say no, unless you can tell the future? What, Junior, he already told us he doesn't have enough money. So then who do we sell to, Cody? Somebody who actually has money. <sighs> who has money? Ooh, doctors! Yeah, 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 yeah they do. Yeah, yeah, we can sell to a doctor. I can call a doctor and pretend I'm having a heart attack and say the only way he can save my life is if he buys a box of chocolates. <sighs> Junior, that's not gonna work. What, how do you know, Cody? Can you tell the future? <sighs> what's, the, what's the lottery numbers for next week? Junior, I don't know. Uh, well, I thought you could tell the future. So stop trying to predict what people are gonna do. So you guys go high, and I'm gonna call a doctor and pretend I'm having a heart attack. Okay, dude. Okay, yeah. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Owie, oh, oh god, ow, owie, ow, 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 owie, ow. I'm having a heart attack. Oh no, are you okay? Oh god, it feels so bad. It feels like an elephant sitting on my chest. Like Cody's mom. You get it, Cody? Yeah. Owie, oh god. Uh oh, okay, uh, what, what do I do, kid? I, I don't know what to do in this situation. Oh. Well, I read online that the only way to stop a heart attack 
is if you buy this whole box of chocolates for $52. Okay, okay, let me go get my wallet. Oh, please hurry. Owie, oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, no. What? All I had was $40. Oh. What? You don't have $52? No, I'm $12 short. Oh, God, why? Please spare his life. Oh, why didn't I go to an ATM on the way here? Oh, God. Oh, I lost what? my debit card. Oh, no. What, 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 what? I, I feel like I'm feeling a little better. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Yeah, I, I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, good. Then I don't have to buy the candy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh it's starting again. It's starting again. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, I, I heard that um that there's a fire sale on candy, so, so I'll sell you this whole box for $40. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I hope you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Cody, he bought a box, so in your face. Ha! You showed him, dude. <laughs> Junior, you lost money. Lost money? It looks like I made money, Cody. What are you talking about? The box was worth $52, and you only sold it for $40. Well, well, how do you know there's 52 candy bars in that box? Because that box literally says 52 bars right on it. Well, have you opened up the box and counted 52 candy bars? <sighs> no. So there might be 40 in there. You don't know. Fine. Oh, wait, I forgot. You could tell the future. So, look, we made $40, so we only need... We need $49,960. What? That's how much we need? Yeah, I know. It's a lot. Oh, my God. We need to get to sell, and we need to sell quick. Yeah. Okay, who do we know that loves candy? Hmm. Who do we know... That's fat. Mm, hmm. fat. Who do we know that's waist is the size of the equator? Right, right, equator. Hmm. Who do we know that's so fat they have their own gravitational pull? Uh, hmm. Gravitational pull. Hmm. Who do we know that's that fat? Dang it. Oh, ooh, Joseph, huh? don't we know somebody whose parent is that fat? I don't know. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, it's like, it's like someoneone's mom, right? Junior, Junior, just say it. Oh, oh, yeah, Cody. Your mom. She's that fat. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, she's so fat, she would buy all our candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every box. Yeah, every single box. Oh, all right, Joseph, start loading up a U-Haul, all the boxes of candy. Oh, I'm going to call the U-Haul. Yeah, we're going to get a big U-Haul truck full of candy bars, and we're going to try to sell it to you. I mean, we are going to sell it to your mom because she loves candy. She's going to eat all the candy. Junior, I've never seen her eat candy in my entire life. But, yeah, you've never seen her eat it because she just devours it so fast. She's like a vacuum. It's like a magic trick. But anyway, so uh, yeah, let's go try to sell it to your mom. Uh, let's get all the candy. Ooh. Tyrone, I was going through your phone, and the name of one of your contacts is Side Chick. Oh, oh uh, Side Chick? Um, baby, I'm a superhero. Yeah, 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 I'm a superhero. And Side Chick, it was supposed to be Sidekick, but Autocorrect changed it in my phone. You know how that happens. Oh. Mm -hmm. but, but, but she said, I want you so bad, Daddy. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh. My, oh, my superhero name is Daddy. Yeah, yeah. And she she want me to help her with these bad criminals. You know, I gotta save the day, baby. All right, Junior. There's my parents and my dad making excuses about cheating. Oh, I'm gonna sell a whole bunch of candy. Hey, you big, fat, stupid cow. Oh, hey, Cody and his friends. What y'all want? We're selling chocolate, and I was wondering if you'll buy a couple hundred boxes. Oh, I'm sorry, boys. I can't. I'm allergic to chocolate. Allergic to chocolate? You should take a certain type of chocolate. <laughs> you know what I mean? It melts in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 can you at least buy, like, at least one box? Well, Cody, is this going to help you get good grades? Uh, yes. Okay, I guess I can buy one box. Let me go get my purse. All right, how much is one box? $52. Oh, well, all I have is 100 We don't have any change. Oh, well, how much is two boxes? $104. I'm sorry, boys, I can't buy one. All I have is this 100 w Well, we could give you two boxes for 100 But But then I'd be $4 short, unless you want me to do something else to make up for those $4. Come on, Judith! I'm sorry, I just go back to my street smarts, it's all I know. Oh, well, well, we will take your hundred and you can have two boxes of candy. Let's go, guys, come on. Okay. Wow, Cody, if your mom would have had more than a hundred dollars, she would have bought all our candy. Yeah, dude. Junior, we lost four dollars. Look, we can write this four dollars off on our taxes. What? Yeah, so look, how do we sell more candy now? Hmm. Ooh, we can go door to door and try to sell candy that way. But Junior, it's nighttime. No one's going to want to buy candy from us at night. They'll think we're trick-or-treating. What? Junior, it's January. Well, maybe we're Chinese trick-or-treating. What? What does that mean? Well, because, like, you know, like, China's on the other side of the earth, so it's still, like, October for them. Junior. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we're going to go trick-or-treating, and we're going to sell candy. We're like, trick-or-treat, smell my feet, buy our candy so we can eat a PS5. Come on, guys. Fine. 
All right, guys, what house should we try to sell to first? Hmm. Ooh, ooh, dude, I like that house over there. Well, that house is still under construction. Ooh, guys, there's a guy laying down in the street. Jenny, that's a homeless man. Don't point. Well, wait, we don't know if he's homeless. That could be Elon Musk in disguise. <laughs> More like Elon Musky because he smells like pee. What? what? You, you, that's a homeless guy? Well, yeah. Well, that's sad. What do, you, what do you think the last time he's eaten is? Well, I don't know. Oh, well, let's go, see, let's go offer him some candy. Well, Junior, he's too poor to afford candy. Hey, mister, are you homeless? Yeah, someone stole my shirt. Someone stole your shirt? Mm -hmm. Well, we're selling candy for a school fundraiser, and it's $52 for a box, so mm -hmm. can you buy some? Mm -hmm. Candy. Reese's Pieces. Yeah, we have Reese's Pieces. Do you want any? Uh, no, 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 no. You, you, can't, you can't buy any unless you have money. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no money. No money. No money? Well, I guess I guess he really is homeless. He's, he's not Elon Musk. No, obviously. You know what? I feel really bad. Look, you can have a box for free. Well, no, no, Junior, we're gonna lose money again. You know what? Have two. I feel sorry for you. You know, have three. You'll get another box. Get another box? Okay, dude. He's homeless, Cody. He hasn't eaten forever. Look, here. Eat all the candy. Uh, all right, come on, Cody. Oh, damn it. All right, guys, what house do we go to next? Guys, we just gave away three boxes of candy. That was worth $156. Cody, he was homeless. He'd be nice. Yeah, dude, have a heart. Yeah, who raised you? Farm animals? Right? A oh, pig? Yeah, they did. Hey. They did pigs and cows. Yeah, his mom. All right, let's try that house. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, let's try to sell to this house. Hey, guys, what doing? Oh, hey, Jeffy, how many boxes of candy did you sell? <sighs> None. No one wants to spend $52 on a box of candy. I know, everyone's so poor. All right, mm -hmm. let's try this house. What do you poor kids want? Well, we're selling candy for our school fundraiser and we're wondering if you want to buy any. Ew, that's poor people candy. I only eat caviar and filet mignon. Well, what do you have for dessert? Because you can buy some chocolate for dessert. Well, that's poor people dessert. I only eat solid gold and it broke out all my teeth, so that's why I don't have any teeth. Well, well can you at least buy like one box, Richard? We know you have money. Well, I would love to, but I can't because I spent $10 million on V-Bucks and my dad caught me and he got mad and he took all my money and my credit cards. That sucks. Yeah. Well, there's no other way you can like buy a box, please? Well, I could buy some boxes if you guys accept Bitcoin. Cody, do we accept Bitcoin? I don't know. I mean, is Bitcoin valuable? Well, here, I have a bunch of Bitcoin. You can take that. It's okay. pretty valuable to me. All right, give them all the boxes of candy. Okay, dude. Uh, uh, oh, yes. Guys, look at all the Bitcoin we got. Is that even a lot? Oh, it's a gold mine, Cody. I'm going to get that PS5. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to get my sticky hand. Now I'm going to get my magnets. Oh, I can't wait for school tomorrow. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, Crafts, I sure hope you sold a lot of candy bars, because my bills are past due. So, Junior, how many candy bars did you sell? Well, teacher, me, Jeffy, Cody, and Joseph decided to add all our money together, and we bought 32 Bitcoins, and at $37,000 a piece, that equals $1,184,000. So, Joseph wants the sticky hands, I want the PlayStation 5, Cody wants the handcuffs, and Jeffy wants the magnets. Wait, wait, wait Junior, we raised over a million dollars. Why are we wasting it all on this junk? We don't need this stuff. Uh, I need the sticky hands. And I need the magnet. And I want the PlayStation 5 and you need the handcuffs. So shut up, Cody. Yeah, yeah. guys. What a horrid crap. Bring me those big coins and come cram your prizes. Okay. Do it, take it, do it, take it, do it. What are we doing? Uh, here you go, teacher. Oh, thank you for doing business, Junior. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get all our prizes. <sighs> guys, look at my magnet. Oh, that's so cool. Look at my PlayStation 5. Hey, Junior, I've been a bad girl. You want to help me take these handcuffs off? Oh, dude. Ah. <laughs> Don't slap me with your stupid sticky hand, Joseph. Oh, it's so cool. No, my PlayStation 5 is so cool. Who's that? There's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello? This is not a Bitcoin. What? It's a fake toy coin. No, it's a real Bitcoin. I got it from, like, this millionaire guy. You give me all the prizes back right now. Uh, uh okay. Oh, here you go. Oh, don't you ever try to scam me again. Guys, guys, our teacher was at the door, and he said the Bitcoin we gave him were fake. But they were fake? No way, dude. Yeah, he said they were fake, and he wanted all our prizes back. But I gave him back the PS5 box full of bricks, so he'll never notice it's full of bricks. Oh, that's smart, dude. Uh, Junior, I think he noticed. Oh. Well, I'm just not going to answer the door. Yeah. <laughs> My chicken quesadilla is finished, and it smells delicious. A chicken quesadilla, 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 a chicken quesadilla.
quesadilla, a chicken quesadilla. Who is that? Who is the chicken quesadilla song? Uh, I'll get it, Chef PB. Uh, uh, hello? Junior, I am so screwed. What's wrong, Richard? Well, my dad is at his massage appointment, and he told me to stay in my room because I was grounded because I ran up $100,000 on the credit card buying V-Bucks for Fortnite. So I'm in my room, and I'm like, hmm, what would be a good idea? I'm going to go joyriding in my dad's brand new car. And I wrecked it, Junior. I ran into a tree. You ran into a tree? Yeah, and I need you to come look at the damage and tell me if you think my dad's going to notice. Okay. All right. All right, Junior. I'm not even going to show you where the dent is. I just want to see if you notice it. Okay. So, uh, do you see it? Is it right there? Damn it! That noticeable, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's really big. Well, the only thing that I got going for me right now is that my dad is old, so maybe his eyesight isn't as good as ours. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're young, so that's why we notice it. Oh, darn it, I just remembered my dad got LASIK twice. Why'd he get it twice? Well, the first time he got it, he was dating his wife, and, and he thought that she was ugly, so he thought his eyes were bad, so he went and got LASIK. So then, he still thought that his wife was ugly, so he got LASIK again, and then he just realized that she was just ugly. And so he divorced her, so she ended up being my mom, so. Oh, what does BMW mean? Oh, BMW stands for Big Mexican Women, which is what I'm trying to pick up with my BMW here and take them back to my La Hacienda. You know, I like my women how I like my tacos, full of sour cream. Well, how'd you hit a tree? Well, let me tell you, Junior, I was driving along, picture this, driving along, clear road, and all of a sudden, boom, tree. And I hit it, and it ran off. The tree ran off? Yeah, and so I think we should follow a police report saying that it was a hit and run, because the tree ran off, and I didn't even get its insurance information. That's a good idea, because if it's the tree's fault, then your dad won't get mad at you. Exactly. Let's call the police. I'm going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Ooh, big Mexican women. Right? Nice. All right, why'd you call me? So there's a dent on my car, and I'm not going to show you where it is. I just want to see if you notice it. Well, yeah, I can see it. It's right there. Damn it! That noticeable, huh? I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Did you get LASIK recently? No, it's just a big old dent. What happened? Well, this is what happened, officer. Picture this. I was driving my dad's car, and all of a sudden, a tree jumped out in the middle of the road, and I hit it, and then he ran off, and I didn't collect his insurance information. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I have several questions. Hold First off, how old are you? Twelve. Okay, you should not have been driving a car. You, you don't have your driver's license. Actually, I'm 16. Huh. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, you are 16. You do have his driver's license. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. So, what happened? So, I was driving along. Tree jumped out in the middle of the road, and I hit it, and it ran off. Well, trees don't usually just jump out into the road like that. Well, this one did. What, was it Groot from, like, from Guardians of the Galaxy? No. Yes, actually, yes, it was him. Let's go arrest him. He did it. Well, he's not actually on this planet, as far as I know, so I don't think that was him. But, you know, I am a mechanic, so I could probably take care of that for you. Okay, that'd be great. All right, let me go get my overalls on. He could probably fix it. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Is that a toilet plunger? No, this is the Suckomatic 5000. It has 5,000 pounds of suckage. This thing could suck anything. I'd leave my wife for this thing. It would talk less. Well, could it get the den out? Oh, can it get the den out? Of course it'll get the den out. This thing will look good as new. Just check this out. Here we go. Here we go. I'm feeling it. Oh, here it is. I can, I can feel it. It's coming. It's coming. Oh! Okay, that didn't work. So are you saying that I'm screwed? No, 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 no. A hammer? What's that going to do? Hold on. Let me explain. What are you doing? See? Now you can tell your dad some guy hit it with a hammer, not a tree. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Richard? I don't know, Junior, because I can't call the cops because he is a cop. Well, if, if you look at the dent, it is a little bit better, and now he gave you a better excuse. You can say that um, somebody hit your car with a hammer. But I'm not supposed to be over here, Junior, because my dad grounded me and I'm supposed to be in my room. Hmm. Hmm, what can I do? <gasps> oh, I can blame my butler, Chives. What, really? Yeah, I'm going to call him over here. You called, sir? Yes, Chives. Look what you did to my dad's car. Bad, Chives. Bad. I'm going to rub your nose in it. Uh, You've been a bad Chives. But I didn't do this, sir. Well, that's what we're going to tell my dad. Well, but shouldn't you be in your room because you're grounded? And shouldn't you be washing dishes or doing whatever butlers do? I was until you called, sir. Well, Chives, we're going to call my dad and tell him that you wrecked his car. And this is the story, Chives. You drug me out of my room even though I was grounded. Grounded, and you promised me to take me to McDonald's and you slammed this car into a tree because you're a drunk and in the McDonald's drive-thru some crazy maniac came up with a hammer and started hitting the car 
Well, what would I get for telling your father this, sir? You get to keep your job! But wouldn't I lose my job when your father found out what I did to his car? No, he's just gonna give you a spanking like he always does! So come inside, we're gonna call my dad! Oh... All right, Chives, call my dad. Do I absolutely have to, sir? Do it! Very well. It's ringing. <clears throat> Nothing can ruin this day. Rafiki! Were they doing it too hard? No, actually not hard enough. But my butler Chives is calling and he knows that it's massage day. So it must be an emergency. Hold on. What do you want, Chives? You know it's massage day. <sighs> well, sir, it seems due to unforeseen circumstances, there may have been a small issue with something. Spin it out! Chives, you're interrupting my massage! Something happened to your car. What? Which car, Chives? Uh, the BMW. Oh, no! No! Anything but that! Not my big Mexican woman car! What happened, Chives? What happened to it? Uh, um, where, ow, my eye. Yes! What happened to my car, Chives? It's not that hard of a question. Don't, don't you touch me, donkey mouth! Anyway, Chives, if you don't tell me what happened to my car, I'm gonna stick my fingers in this candle! Well, sir, I... What? I'm a stupid, smelly drunk. I grabbed Richard and put him in the BMW and ran into a tree. Then we went to McDonald's and a crazy man hit it with a hammer. You what? That is it, Chives! I can't believe this! I'm sticking my hand in this candle! Please don't, sir. That hurts so good. Oh, Chives, I'm coming to you right now so you can kiss my boo-boo! Uh-oh, No! Ew, donkey mouth! <sighs> Did he believe it? I don't know, sir. Dang it, Chives! You didn't sound believable! Ow, my eye! What? Who's at the door? Go check and see if it's my dad. Okay. Yeah, your dad's here. What do we do? Go answer the door and try to stall. See if he notices the dent. Okay. Uh, hello? Where are they? Well, they're upstairs, but we want to go look at the car real quick. I gotta ask you something. All right, so Richard doesn't want me to show you where the dent is. He wants to see if you can see it with your own eyes. So on the count of three, I want you to point out the damage. One, two, three. Right here. All of this. All of this. Oh, and don't forget, down here too. What? We didn't even notice that. Yeah, well, good thing I got LASIK twice. Oh, well, okay, you can come inside now. All right, here they are. All right, Chives. Now, was everything that you told me on the phone true? Uh, I, uh... Now, think about it, Chives, because if you lie to me, then I'm gonna pack you up in a little crate and ship you to Madagascar, where you're gonna be dancing with little lemurs to the song, I like to move it, move it. Now, tell me, Chives, do you like to move it, move it? No, sir. So, what happened? Uh, I, 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 uh, uh, oh no, I'm having a heart attack. Don't you pull that fake heart attack crap with me, Chives. You tried doing that last week. So what happened? Dad, everything he told you is true. Okay, and you're gonna stick with that? Yep. Now let me tell you, I do have a dash cam. It's a little camera on the windshield that records everything. So does anyone want to change their story? Uh, I think you're telling the truth. <sighs> okay, Junior. All right, Dad, listen, this is what happened. So I was sitting in my room, grounded, like you told me I was, and Chives came in with the BMW key, and he threw it at me and said, hey, you should go joyriding while your dad's getting a massage. And I was like, but I'm grounded. But Chives insisted, Dad. So I was driving along, and I hit a tree. And then I brought it straight back to Junior's house to try to fix it so I wouldn't get in trouble for what Chives told me to do. And that's when, that's when this crazy guy came and hit the car with a hammer. And you'll see that on your dash cam. Uh, I thought he'd actually tell the truth. That is it, Chives! Get ready for your spankings! Shall I get the paddle, sir? Actually, I think I'm gonna use my lucky tennis racket. Very good, sir. But Chives, you didn't do anything. That's okay, this is just my life. No, I'm not gonna sit back and let this happen. Mr. Goodman, sir, Richard's lying. Wh what are you doing, Junior? I'm telling the truth for you. Oh. So, so Chives didn't do anything, so Chives didn't get any spankings. Richard lied, and Richard deserves the spankings. Richard, is this true? Yeah, Dad. I can't believe you, Richard! Chives, get the paddle! Very good, sir. I'm gonna teach your little Heine a lesson.